Time now for the opening kickoff. It is sponsored by Solo Stove. Win game day with Solo Stove with their all-new Pie Prime Pizza Oven. You can cook artesian pizzas in just 90 seconds or huddle the crew around a Solo Stove bonfire and feel the heat of the world's most popular smokeless fire pit. That's solostove.com. All right, the Niners will be receiving, and in the end zone, Ray Ray McLeod and the Kansas City Chiefs on this immaculate field will be kicking off from our right to our left. The Chiefs getting here with two road playoff wins, something they had not done in the time that uh, both Andy Reid, the head coach, and Mahomes had been uh, in charge of this wonderful run by Kansas City. A lot of things different for the Chiefs this year, winning more on defense, and as you said, having to go on the road to win against a couple really, really good teams to find their way to Las Vegas. Anderson Bunker's got the ball teed up at the 35. He trots to the ball. He'll swing his right leg through, and Super Bowl 58 is underway. And the kickoff is out of the end zone, right down the middle. It'll be a touchback. It'll be to the 25. It'll be first and 10. So I know that you've talked with Brock Purdy here in the last couple of weeks. When you talk to him, what do you come away with? He's just very humble kid, very grounded kid, and he's just taking it all in and trying to appreciate the moment. Hasn't played the best in these first two playoff games this year. You want to get him started fast. Let's see if they come out and do something easy to get him rolling. Purdy will be under center. They play a lot of them under center. It is on San Francisco 25. McCaffrey the back. There's a four-man front for the Chiefs. It's first and ten. The snap, he turns to his left. He hands to McCaffrey up the middle. He goes over the guard, past the 30 on the numbers, and near the San Francisco 31 with a gain of six on first down. And we always say a quarterback's best friend is the run game, and that's really how San Francisco is built. They want to run the ball. They want to keep George Kittle in there. They want to put a fullback in. Very different than a lot of teams in the league, but if they can win the line of scrimmage, it will go a long way in helping Brock Tur Purdy to make some throws down the field. Second down and four. Purdy again under center. Where's that uh, number 13? Because he idolized Marino. Second and four is on 31. Takes the handoff. Rolls to the near side. Short pass. It's caught by Juszczyk at the 35. The 40. Hurdles are defended. The 45. And he's up to the 49-yard line of San Francisco. Running on the numbers. The catch. The spin. The run. Picking up 18 on the short pass. It's first and 10 for the Niners. There's the easy one we're talking about. Run on the first play, you come back and make it look exactly the same, and you have the naked bootleg, drop it off to your fullback and let him do the rest. Mike was talking about run after catch. That is going to be key, and you saw some nice yardage right there from Juszczyk. Purdy is going to go on the shotgun on the NFL shield at his own 49 with the first and in, in moving left to right. Receiver in motion, quick shotgun snap. Here's a short throw down the middle. Caught McCaffrey in the middle at the 45. I've up Kansas City. Runs between the hash marks. Down to the Kansas City 41 with a pickup of 10. It's another first down on the game opening drive for San Francisco. Good job by Brock Purdy. He was looking to his left, trying to get Debo Samuel on the choice route over there. Wasn't there, worked all the way back to Christian McCaffrey coming out of the backfield on the short check down. Really nice job having patience in the pocket. Chiefs have five in the secondary. First and ten. Game opening drive. Kansas City 40. In the shotgun is the quarterback. Purdy gets the snap. Turns. Hands McCaffrey. Got a block. Runs over the 40. Over the center of the 35. And right down the middle. Still plowing his way between the hash marks to the Kansas City 30-yard line. He was a road grader. And he had a couple blockers ahead. And he picks up 11. Now make it 10. Another first down for San Francisco. Balance, balance, balance. That's how Kyle Shanahan wants to play. He wants to hand the football off. Short, quick passes for Brock Purdy. Been a great start for this 49ers offense. White jerseys, gold pants for the Niners. Breaking huddle. They started this drive at their own 25. Now they have it at the Kansas City 29. It's first and 10. Purdy's under center with a couple tight ends. Hand off McCaffrey over the right tackle. He fumbled the ball as he was hit. He crossed the 27. And the ball was jarred free. He was hit on the play. Karloftis may have jumped on the ball. They're untangling the bodies. The Chiefs pointing one way, and so are the officials. A turnover by San Francisco. McCaffrey has turned the ball over on the first drive of Super Bowl 58, and the Chiefs take over, and their defense forces the turnover. Karloftis got it. There's a timeout. 
12-15, less than three minutes into Super Bowl 58. A good-looking Niner drive is knocked astray with a fumble. Kansas City's got the ball. We'll take a timeout. This is Westwood One's coverage of the Super Bowl. Niners have fumbled the opening uh, drive, and Kansas City gets it with Kurt Warner and Dean Blandino, Kevin Harlan. We're in the Granger Broadcast booth here in Las Vegas. At work every day is game day. Give your crew an edge with Granger. You'll find supplies and solutions for your industry. When you call, click Granger.com or just stop by. The Chiefs defense stops what looked to be a promising San Francisco drive. It was. Defenders always talk about first guy there, stop the ball carrier. Second guy in, go for the football. Leo Chanel came from the side after Christian McCaffrey was hung up. And before that knee came down, he reached in and pulled that football away. You said it. Good drive, but it ends in no points. And the ball back to number 15. Mahomes will be in the gun. First Kansas City possession at their 27. Moving from right to left. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Got it. He hands off. Oh, and Stiney behind the line. Trying to run over the guard. Isaiah Pacheco thrown for a loss of three on the play. It's back to the Kansas City 24 on the handoff. There's been a lot made about this Kansas City offense and how different it is. They run the football better in the playoffs. They want to play more ball control football than drop back and wing it down the field, which we've become accustomed to. Second down, 13, four in the secondary for the Niners. Mahomes in the gun. It is own Kansas City, 24. The shotgun snap, the quick throw to Kelsey. To the near side, breaks the tackle, 25, then goes down at the, uh, just right at the 25. He broke the tackle at Greenlaw, and then he lost his footing, slipping on the grass, and only gets a yard on that short little throw. It'll be third down for the Chiefs in 12. And that's how the pass game of this offense has evolved in the playoffs. 55% of their passes have been quick around the line of scrimmage. But it's going to be tough against this really fast linebacker core of the 49ers. Jarek McKinnon is in. Shotgun Mahomes. Chiefs 25. He looks into five. San Francisco defensive backs make it six. Shotgun snap. Drifts back four. Blocked by the right tackle. Sets. Now he's being chased. Throws on the run. Caught at the 30. It's McKinnon on the numbers to the 32. He's hit on the play. Down at the 33. Hit by Greenlaw. Is shy of the first down to the Kansas City 33. He needed the 37. Fourth and four. And here comes the Kansas City punting team. And because of those lack of big plays down the field, if you can win the early downs if you're the 49ers defense, as they did, first down, get a negative play, keep them behind the sticks, that doesn't play to what Kansas City does well offensively right now. Tommy Johnson's going to punt for the Chiefs on the Super Bowl logo to our right. He'll be punting from right to left. It's a high long snap. His right-footed punt is away. It is down the middle. It'll be short of Ray Ray McLeod. He now runs under the ball, grabs it against his chest. Looked like Willie Mays catching a pop fly in center field, and he has a fair catch. And it's uh, inside the 25-yard line of San Francisco. 43-yard punt. Hang time of a little over four seconds. We step aside. There is no score. 10-16, first quarter. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. Welcome back to Super Bowl 58 here on Westwood One. Just Capital is an independent nonprofit that helps Wall Street make the world a better place. They measure and track which companies are doing the best job in supporting American communities. Find out more at JustCapital.com. McCaffrey fumbling is rare. Only the third all season, um, San Francisco gets a second possession. And something you always have to pay attention to in big games, right? When a guy fumbles early, how does he respond to that? Does it make him tentative? Does he start running with two hands on the football? Or does he say, hey, that was a one-off, as you said. Haven't fumbled very often. Forget that one. Short memory and move forward. You know they're going to feed him in this game. Will he become more effective after the fumble? Or will it slow him down a little bit? So Brock Purdy is 2-2 two two to start this game, Kurt. He had the number one passing rating this season in the NFL. I've said it numerous times. I thought he played the best quarterback in the National Football League all year long. Doesn't get quite the credit that he deserves because the playmakers around him, but he has played really, really well this year. Niners at their own 24. Purdy in the gun. Receiver in motion. That's Samuel. First and 10. A fake handoff. McCaffrey. Line drive down the middle, and it's caught by Ayuk. He slants from the 35 on the hash mark to the 40, and he's up to the 41-yard line, 42-yard line of San Francisco. Brought down in the play by the safety, Justin Reed. Picks up 18. Good throw, good catch. First and 10, Niners. Well, every single play so far, there has been motion for the 49ers. 
They were going to do that all game long. A little jet sweep motion on that one to clear out the linebackers. And we talked about it in the keys. Attack in the middle of the field. Great throw to Brandon Ayuk. Purdy is under center with a couple tight ends at his own 42 and a first and 10. The snap and it's a jet sweep. It's Samuel to the near side. Stopping on the numbers. Hit on the play by Bolton. Hit by Karloftis and torn down. He loses two. Running to the near sideline on the numbers on the fly. It'll be second and 12 for San Francisco. We have no score. Clock ticking 9-23. Well, every time 1-9, Debo Samuel gets the ball. You got to make sure if you're in a red jersey, you are flying to the football. Never goes down with the first guy. That time you saw the Chiefs, four or five guys there. As soon as he got the jet sweep, going to be key to not let him get run after catch or yards after the handoff. Five in the Kansas City secondary. Pretty under center at his 40. Second down, 12. Snap, spin, whistle, flag, stopping the play. False start, Niners. False start. Offensive 71. Five yard penalty. The 14-year, highly decorated left tackle, Trent Williams. That was the voice of our referee, Bill Vinovich. And they go back, Kurt, to the 35 of San Francisco with the penalty. Well, even the big guys can get nervous, right? Can get a little anxiety <laughs> going right. into the big one. Have that fumble on the first drive. You want to get something going. Big fella playing in the Super Bowl for the first time. I got a little anxious. In the shotgun formation, back at the Niners 35, looking into the nickel and a four-man Chiefs defensive front. It's second down, 17 30. Empty backfield. Shotgun snap is belt high. Sets. Packs his arm. Pressure on the play. Runs from the numbers to the far sideline. Flag thrown. He plants his feet. Purdy throws across the field. It's caught by Kittle at the 50 on the logo. He comes to the near side, but it could all be wiped away. Got as far as the Chiefs 47. It is against the Chiefs, up against San Francisco. 71. 10 yard penalty. Repeat second down. The left tackle just picked up his second penalty here in the Super Bowl for the Niners. I know we're going to point out Trent Williams on this one, but I always say it. It's really hard for those offensive tackles when the quarterback sets and you think he's inside of you in the pocket. All of a sudden, he takes off running outside of you. The defender tries to pull away. You've got a hand on the jersey. It's easy for the officials to see that one. So an easy call, but one of those things that's more on the quarterback positioning and movement then really a bad play by your offensive but tackle. By, what a play by Purdy. And then Kittle with an 18-yard game. And we've seen him do that a lot. <laughs> by time, and he does that, what we call a cardinal sin. Don't throw it late across the middle, but he has made a lot of plays this year doing just that. Penalty back to the 25 of the Niners. Empty backfield, second down, 27. Their second possession with no score in the Super Bowl in 8-10 here in the first. The shotgun snap, the quick uh, lateral throw. Caught by McCaffrey at the 20. And the numbers, the 30, running on the near side. Hit by Karloftis, brought down on the play. On that second and 27, he picks up eight, setting up third and 19. Live to Laura Oakman on the sideline. You talked about 35-year-old Trent Williams feeling like a 25-year-old. I talked to him as he was lapping the field pregame, and he said, my heart is beating so fast. I'm trying to take breaths and keep my heartbeat down. I asked him, when's the last time you felt like this? He said, I don't ever remember feeling like this. Well, uh, there's a lot of first-time feelings in the Super Bowl, isn't there, Kurt? Huh? <laughs> oh, always. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter what position you played. Now six in the Kansas City secondary, third and 20. In the shotgun, the quarterback, Purdy. Pump fakes and throws across the middle. Part of the 35-yard line, Samuel spins and poke a tackle at the 40. He's between the hash marks. He goes right up the middle of the field of the San Francisco 45. He's going to be short, tackled on the logo. In fact, he'll be seven yards shy of the first. It's fourth and seven and their punting unit will come out so two san francisco possessions one a fumble in chief's territory and the uh, upcoming punt right here two really good defenses so if you can create some negative plays even if that's a penalty and put these teams behind the sticks going to be tough to make those big plays down the field for either of these offenses Mitch Wisnowski will be punting for san francisco from our left to our right richie james back at the kansas city 10 with our clock at 642 here on the first. Oh, and sorry. Offensive 53. No score. Five penalty, still fourth down. And so the penalty will go right there against San Francisco. That's linebacker D. Winters who plays on the special teams. So already the Niners have really faced a lot of penalty problems. The penalties and the turnover, yes. right? Early in game. 
How do you respond to all this anxiety? Wisnowski with the right-footed punt. Set high, down the middle, looking into the translucent roof. Backpedaling at his own Kansas City 7 as James runs back to the 5, hit at the 10, and dives to the 11. And just inside the numbers, that's as far as he will go. The hang time was 4.9. The punt was 52. It was about a three or four yard return. And we step aside. Here with six and a half to play in the first. In Super Bowl 58, the Niners nothing, the Chiefs nothing. You're listening to the Super Bowl on Westwood One. Back at the Super Bowl, let's now check in with our sideline reporter, Mike Golick. He's sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. If you've ever been injured, you can reach out and check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone, paid for by Morgan & Morgan. Mike, take it away. Oh, guys, listen, it's still all positive on the San Francisco 49ers sideline. Two drives over 80 yards, but they're racking up the penalty yard early. And with the fumble you talked about as well, I'm wondering from Kurt, I know everybody's different here, but when when, do you, when did you settle in? Because these guys have to settle in. Surprising for Trent Williams, a 14-year vet, but it is his first Super Bowl, so it is taking people different amount of times to settle into this game. We'll get that after this play with the first and ten after the San Francisco punt in the scoreless first quarter. At the Kansas City 11, shotgun is low to Mahomes around his knees. He hands off to Pacheco, breaks the tackle 15. He's on the numbers to the 20. He bursts by the 21 of the Chiefs and out just uh, to the 22 for a first down run of 10. Kurt on first down for Kansas City. Yeah, both first downs, they hand the football off to Pacheco. That's what they want to do. They want to run the football, establish the run. And to Mike's point, it's different for all of us, but usually it comes off of you want something good. You want a good play to happen early, and then it just becomes a football game. Kansas City 22, first and 10, shotgun formation. Mahomes by himself, three-man rush. Here they come. They got him, and they sack him. It's back at the 16. Chase Young, Chase Young, a midseason trade from the Commanders to the Niners. His first postseason sack, and it's back at the Kansas City 17. Hasn't quite lived up to the billing in terms of getting sacks, but right there was as much coverage as anything. Ward was covering Rice on the right-hand side. It's where Patrick Mahomes wanted to go. There was no separation trying to get back to the other side, and Chase Young, great job on the offensive tackle. Five in the secondary for the Niners. Kansas City second down, 14 back at their 17. Shotgun snap, quick lateral throw, caught by Rice at the 15. Grab! Brought down on the play. Warner got him. Outside the numbers. Near side of the field. Tackled at about the Kansas City 17-yard line on that short lateral throw. And Kurt, they lose a yard. Now third and 15 for the Chiefs in a scoreless first quarter. And uh, we have some shoving after the play, and they got to be separated. And no linebacker better in the National Football League than Fred Warner. And he plays so instinctually. He will read the quarterback. So he comes out in zone coverage. Eyes are on Patrick Mahomes as soon as he steps in and puts that arm up to throw that quick throw. Boom. He is gone and on Rice before those offensive linemen can get out there. Third and 15. Chiefs 17. Shotgun snap running up Mahomes. Chase grab from behind. Brought down by Gregory who got him from behind. Leaping on that number 15 on his back. Down he goes at the 21-yard line. And he only gained four, running out of harm's way, but it's fourth and ten. Here comes the Kansas City punting unit, and they will punt to San Francisco, approaching four to play here in the first with no score. I sat down with Patrick Mahomes. He said he's changed his mentality a little bit with this team, not taking as many chances. He says it's okay to punt sometimes. Thought he had a little opening there to make a throw, but decided to tuck it in anyways. Townsend to punt for the second time, drifting back is... Ray Ray McLeod, who is brought down immediately on the play by Kansas City's Joshua Williams. Got that ball looking into the roof, and down he goes. And he has uh, no gain on that 61-yard punt with a hang time, and it was a beauty of over five seconds on that Kansas City punt. And there was also some disruption to the punter, but no penalty flag thrown. Niners will get it for a third time. 3.53 in the first. It's... No score. The Niners, the Chiefs. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. Welcome back to Super Bowl 58 here on Westwood One. Later on, we'll select the defender of the game, and it's sponsored by Simply Safe. 
Defend your home like an all-pro offensive line with Simply Safe. Simply Safe protects every inch of your home for less than one dollar a day. Think of that. Get uh, 20 percent off on your new system. Visit simplysafe.com/radio. That's S-I-M-P-L-I Safe.com/radio. Well, so far, Kurt, a lot of back and forth, but not a lot of scoring, clearly. Uh, no score here at uh, 353 in the first. We've talked about some of the struggles San Francisco's had in the playoffs. Their defense has only forced, had only forced three punts in the playoffs coming into today, and already two punts for Patrick Mahomes in this Chiefs offense. Niners will be moving after this punt. The second straight by the Chiefs, taking over at their own 17 with McCaffrey in the backfield. And the quarterback, Purdy, under center. The snap, the turn, flag thrown, handoff over the left tackle goes. McCaffrey's past the 20, and outside the numbers, angling to the far side at the 27, but the flag has been thrown. It appears it's against the Niners. I actually think it's encroachment by the defense. I think it lined up offsides by the defense, so I think this play's going to stand, Kev. The gain was seven. Offside. Defense number 94. You called it. Penalty declined. Result of the play. Second down. And they're going to be at their own San Francisco 24-yard line on the run of seven by McCaffrey. Talks a lot about how good this Chiefs defense has been all year long, but right now San Francisco is really having their way with them, running the football extremely well. Brock Purdy perfect on the day, even though it's mostly short passes. They've come out with a plan. They're executing that plan outside of the mistakes that they've made. Chiefs normally play with five and six defensive backs. On this particular alignment, they're going to have just four. The ball has been pushed back to the 22-yard line. They did accept the penalty. So, in the pistol formation for the first time, with the quarterback five yards away from the line of scrimmage in the center at the San Francisco 22, it's first and five with the handoff after the snap. It's McCaffrey got a block in there. It's Kittle tries to push him, running over the left tackle out of the San Francisco 25 and brought down on the play and hit by a couple and picks up three. And Kurt, that sets up second down and two for the Niners with no score and approaching three to play in the first. Right, you always wonder about those decisions, right? They pick up seven yards on the run. Why Why don't you go second and three? I'm but just hey, say that we'll just you. take the five. We get that down back. Now we get three downs to be able to pick up five yards. Why Kyle Shanahan decided to accept that penalty. Chiefs back to uh, four in the secondary. Second down and two. 25 of San Francisco. Purdy's under center. There's the snap. The spin. Head up McCaffrey. Got a block from use check. Runs over the guard on the hash and out to the San Francisco. 29 as we're moving in this first quarter. The Niners from our left to our right with a gain of four. It is a Niner first down. No score here in the first. Another big hole right there led up by Kyle Juszczyk. But this is what Kyle Shanahan is all about. Run the ball, run the ball, and then they're going to come back with that play action when you get those linebackers flying up because you're struggling to stop the run and you get those big plays down the middle of the field. First down in 10. Under center, and now back in the shotgun is Purdy. Gets the snap and a little lateral throw, and it's caught by McCaffrey on the short pass. Runs to the 30 after the catch. Belted on the play, taken down by Karloftis. He only picked up a yard coming to the near side, the 9 or 30-yard line, and they're going to huddle again at the line. They're going to assemble right there with no huddle right on the Super Bowl logo to our left. It will be second down. Here's the fake handoff. Back to pass goes Purdy. Winding up, looking deep, winding up, throwing low and incomplete on a crossing pattern. Debo Samuel at about the 45-yard line of San Francisco. It's his first incompletion for Brock Purdy on that uh, crossing pattern to the ever-dangerous Samuel. And now it'll be third and nine for the Niners. It was good protection right there. He was waiting for Debo to come all the way across the field on the deep over. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Finally got in pace and said, hey, I'm not taking a sack. I'm just going to throw this thing away. The running back is Elijah Mitchell. It's third down and nine, and the shotgun is Purdy. In motion comes his receiver, Chris Conley, a former chief. From the San Francisco 30, four in the line. Here they come. There's the shotgun snap. Blocked by Williams. Long line drive pass. Far side over the shoulder. Catch by Conley. He got it right in front of Watson. Running into the bench in the far sideline of the Niners. He catches the ball and out of bounds at the San Francisco 48-yard line. And a first down on the beautiful throw. An 18-yard strike by Purdy. First and 10, San Francisco. Good play call right there. Bunched up the receivers to the left. 
so they could get a combo man coverage by the Chiefs, meaning their defenders are playing in and out depending on where the receivers go. They got perfect leverage on the corner route. Easy pitch and catch for the big play. McCaffrey back in under center. Now backpedaling in the gun is the quarterback, Purdy, from his own 48. First and 10. Four-man rush. Shotgun snap. Line drive throw down the middle. Caught on the cross. 31-yard line. Ray Ray McLeod. Got it on the hash. Runs to the Kansas City 33 and a bullet thrown right down the middle. And it's a gain of 19 on the play. Another first down for the Niners here late in the first quarter with no score. And Kurt, they're moving again. Similar throw to what they tried a couple plays ago to Debo Samuel. This time they're going to run a deep corner route by Brandon Ayuk to clear out the defensive corner. Bring Ray Ray McLeod across the field on that deep over. And you mentioned it, a bullet throw by Brock Purdy. Now he's at the Kansas City 33 in the shotgun formation. Full back in motion. Four-man rush with the shotgun snap and a pump fake by Purdy. Now goes long down the far sideline into the end zone. No one home in the back of the end zone. The ball drops. He was looking for Ayuk on the far side in that uh, gold-painted end zone to our right. Incomplete pass. Second down 10 for the Niners in 26 seconds in the first with no score. Great job by the secondary of the Chiefs. Couple quick screens have already been thrown in this game. San Francisco loves to do that. We're going to come out and fake the quick screen to Debo and try to slip our receivers down the field. No bite on the back end. Good coverage and another throw away by Purdy. Purdy is under center. Second and 10 from the Kansas City. 33. Receivers in motion. There's the snap. He turns. He hands off McCaffrey. Grab as he was trying to go over the right side and hit on the play by NUDK. Uzama, who is a rookie out of Kansas State, has not played that much. He throws him for a four-yard loss on a run over the right side. First quarter clock is ticking down. Will take us to zeros. It'll be third and 14 for the San Francisco 49ers when we come back. Welcome back to Super Bowl 58 here on Westwood One, along with Kurt Warner, Dean Blandino, Mike Golick, and Laura Oakman. Kevin Harlan here in Las Vegas. We have no score at the end of one, but the Niners are moving. The start of the second quarter is sponsored by Robin Hood Gold. Learn how Robin Hood Gold could get you the most for your equipment. Fees and restrictions apply. Visit RobinHood.com slash boosts. Last scoreless first quarter in the Super Bowl. Back to Super Bowl 58. Patriots Rams. I know you remember it well. No score in the first quarter in that one. Well, let's, uh, let's hope it doesn't stay that way. You know I like offense. I know you love and offense, don't you? You talk all the time about jitters, though, and we've seen some things that maybe uh, were a cause of that early in this football game. But I tell you what, one guy that doesn't seem to be uh, <laughs> anxious or jittery is the young quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. Eight for ten, over 100 yards in the first half, hitting six different receivers and he's made some big nice throws down the field on this drive in particular 18 yard pass to conley 19 yard pass to ray ray mcleod they've worked their way to the kansas city 37 we begin the second quarter and san francisco will have it third down and 14 moving in this second from our right to our left in the shotgun, the quarterback pretty, the belt high snap, the drop back at three, the heavy pressure from four, winds up one pass, end zone broken up! What a great knock away in the back of the end zone by the Chiefs' Trent McDuffie! Left high, knocked it away, and they were going for Debo Samuel for six, incomplete pass. There was quick pressure on Brock Purdy, but really nice job to slide around in the pocket and find an opening. Puts the ball out there, but you mentioned it, McDuffie Pro Bowl player right there on top of Debo Samuel. Reach up that right hand and knock it away at the last second. We are indoors. The Niners are going to try a 55-yard field goal off the grass. Jake Moody will try it. Long snap from Pepper to get the first score in the Super Bowl. Ball put down. Right foot it gives away and good for San Francisco on their third drive of 55-yard field goal to score first in Super Bowl 58. Early in the second and quarter. That is the longest field goal in Super Bowl history. 55 yards. The previous 54. Steve Christie of the Bills against the Cowboys way back in Super Bowl 28. Amazing. 3 nothing Niners. Just seconds gone here in the second quarter. And we're going to take a break. 3 nothing San Francisco just starting the second quarter. 
Niners with a 55-yard field goal. And for every field goal made throughout the season on our primetime NFL broadcast, Barbasol made a donation to Curtin Brenda Warner's Treasure House, a living community for adults with disabilities. That field goal was number 276. And a big thank you to our friends and partners at Barbasol Shaving Cream, an American original for over 100 years. Close Shave America, Close Shave Barbasol. So after the all-time Super Bowl record 55-yard field goal, the Niners will kick off from our right to our left in and out of the end zone. Kurt, it's a touchback to the 25. I know you and Barbasol have had a long-time relationship as they have with Westwood One, and you're so thankful for the participation they show. We are so grateful to Barbasol and their continued support of what we're doing with Treasure House. So many lives and families have been impacted. So continue to appreciate uh, that relationship, and we hope that it continues for a long, long time. Here come the Chiefs. They've had it twice. They've punted both times under center, and he rarely does this. Mahomes, couple tight ends at his own 25, a first and 10, got the snap, fakes the handoff, goes back seven, short pass out of the backfield, caught Pacheco, far sideline 25 to the Kansas City, 30 angles into the San Francisco bench on the far side of the field, little catch and run out of the backfield, Pacheco of seven, they'll mark him at the Kansas City, 32. When we talk about how different this offense was, these two teams played last year, the Kansas City Chiefs scored 44 points against this defense, but they were about big plays a year ago, and we've seen it already early tonight. It's just short play, short play, short play, but at least they won first down right there. Four in the defensive front for the Niners. Second down and three for the Chiefs at their own 32. Shotgun snap. It's a handoff. Pacheco runs over the center, plows his way. He is close to a first down, backpedaling for a while. Then hit on the play by Kevin Gibbons on that Niner line, picking up two, and that makes it third and one for the Chiefs at their own 34. Pacheco's not a big guy, but no. I love how he runs. He gets up there in the pile, and it just keeps moving and moving. Got to bring a couple extra white jerseys to slow him down just before the sticks. Rice is in the backfield. The quarterback, Mahomes, brings a tight end to the line. He gets the snap under center. Hands off to Rice. Runs over the right tackle. Playing Debo Samuel here. And uh, the ball may have been a little bit loose, and it was picked up on the play by Justin Watson. So Watson will take the ball up to the 38, and it is a first down for the Chiefs. But my goodness, uh, they're playing with fire. Isn't that the way Andy Reid drew it up? She, <laughs> you're going to run over here. You get close to the six, and then you just drop it and let Watson pick it up and go the rest of the way. Man, very fortunate right there. And I couldn't even tell. It almost looked like he flipped it to him like it was designed. It had that feel to it, didn't it? Pacheco in the backfield. Mahomes in the gun. His own 39. Shotgun formation. Gets the snap. Rolls to the numbers. Stops. Throws a pass down the middle of the field. Caught at the 10. And down at about the 12-yard line. Let's see. It's Hardman. Let's see where the knee hit. They say he makes it to the 9. On a 53-yard completion. Long throw Mahomes. Chiefs will have it first down and goal to go on that long completion to the nine of San Francisco. Well, this was crazy. It was a roll to the left. They faked the corner and came back to the post. Deshaun Gibson was over on that side. He didn't locate the football. It should have been an interception by him. Couldn't find the football. Ball goes over his head. Huge play for the Chiefs. There's an eye formation. First and goal for the Chiefs who trail here early in the second quarter. 3-0. Mahomes is under center. He moves the receiver against the snap. Hands off Pacheco. He's going to get a block from his tight end at the 10. Runs laterally. Tries to dig on the first. Line. Fumbled it. San Francisco's recovered. San Francisco's recovered. Javon Kinlaw jumps on the Pacheco fumble at the 9. Both teams, star running backs, have fumbled in the first half of Super Bowl 58. Wow, coming off that big play. And it's Lenore who reaches out and just grabs the ball and just takes it away from Pacheco right there. Man, they were set up perfectly, but another big play by the San Francisco defense. Three nothing Niners on a Super Bowl long field goal of 55, 11, 59 in the first half. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One.
Isaiah Pacheco has just fumbled, and San Francisco has held live to the field and Laura Oakman. Kyle Shanahan said, you know Kansas City, you know their scheme, their quarterback, those guys are going to make plays, and they have a heck of a defense. So when we have our opportunities, we cannot miss them. He said finishing drives, tips, overthrows, a bounce. When any of those things happen, we got to get points out of it, not let that quarterback and offense hang around, because if we don't pounce on those, they will. We have been seeing that early so far, right? A fumble here, field goal instead of points there. That was the pounce the Niners have been waiting on. Well, they got it. And so now the turnover is even Kurt Warner at 1-1. Well, they missed a couple opportunities on that third down. The ball came loose. Chiefs got it on that deep throw. Gibson was there to make a play. The Chiefs make it. But finally, the third time out, the third time's the charm as they knock that football away and jump on it. That is only the second loss red zone fumble in the last 38 Super Bowls. Pacheco, second fumble this year, four last year. On a goal to go, the Chiefs cough it up. And the quarterback is pretty at his own eight. First and ten. Got the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls in the end zone, comes to the near side, the hash mark to the numbers, chased by Bolton, swiped that up the near sideline, flag thrown as he got to the Niners, 16 on the run. And he can run. First little foul. Horse collar defense, correction. Defense number 32, horse collar tackle, automatic first down. Flag on Kansas City, move the ball up, and some breathing space right now for the second-year quarterback at Iowa State, Brock Purdy. And we saw last week Brock Purdy making some plays with his legs. They come out with the naked bootleg, nobody open, turns on the speed around the corner, forcing that horse collar. Nice game, plus add 15 more. All right, the Niners break huddle on the logo in their white jerseys and gold pants and gold helmets. Moving from our right to our left with that penalty in tow. Under center, Purdy at his own San Francisco 40-32. With an eye formation, it's first and ten. McCaffrey in motion. The pitch out to Samuel. Runs over the guard and stoned after a gain of one at the Niner 33. Our rules analyst, Dean Blandino, is up here. Dean, what did you see on that previous play? Good call. The defender gets his hand inside the back of the collar, and he doesn't have to pull the runner all the way to the ground. The knees just buckle. 15-yard penalty. Great job by the officials. All right, so now it'll be second down and nine. And the ball is the 33 of the Niners. Dodging a bullet. The Chiefs had goal to go, and they fumble. Purdy is under center. He's got the eye formation. He looks over a four-man front. He gets the snap and hands to McCaffrey. He's grabbed around the waist by Chris Jones, running over the left tackle, and gained maybe a half yard on the play. And Kurt Warner that will bring up third and eight for the Niners, who lead on a Super Bowl record 55-yard field goal, 3 0 early second quarter. That's been the story so far for these offenses. When they get in third and long, they have not been able to convert. Let's see who wins this battle. Maybe San Francisco makes that play, or the Chiefs, after that fumble, big turnover, get the ball back for number 15. The Chiefs are going to have six in their secondary, and they run more dime than any other defense in the NFL. Third down nine. Purdy will be in the gun. McCaffrey will be off his right hip. 33 of the Niners, third down and eight. Shotgun snap, five-man rush. Here they come. Purdy runs up, dodging, pump faking, stiff arming, running to the near side, the numbers, and down. Brought down at the 29. Hit by Karloftis. Big game for him so far. Losing four. It's fourth and 13. Karloftis with the pressure and the tackle of the scrambling San Francisco quarterback. The punting unit out there for the Niners. She's bringing an extra guy right there. And again, third and long. You got to hold the football and let your guys get down the field. They get home early and force Purdy out of the pocket in the sack. Here's another punt coming up for Mitch Wisnowski for San Francisco. Arms dangling at his side. He's inside his 9 or 20. He'll be punting from our right to our left. Awaiting the snap. He gets it belt high. He swings his right leg through and punts the ball to our left. The Chiefs, Richie James, bobbled the ball at the 20, then quickly falls on it. Springs to his feet. Whacked on the play by the reserve tight end Werner. Wow, we're dodging one bullet after another in this one, a 55, 51-yard punt. I tell you what, you got quick reactions for an old guy. 
Man, you were up out of your seat so fast when that ball hit the ground. I love it. Two things. I'm I love not it. You're old in Super Bowl form. Right. Yeah. You are in Super Bowl form. I'm following your lead. We've got a timeout. 9-16 to play in the first half. Niners lead it 3 nothing. Fumbles both way in scoring position. We take a break as you're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. Welcome back to the Super Bowl in Las Vegas with Kurt Warner, Dean Blandino, I'm Kevin Harlan. And together with Navy Federal Credit Union, we'd like to thank you for joining us for this broadcast of Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One again. And give an extra special shout out to the over one million men and women in uniform stationed around the world in military bases and ships at sea defending our nation and listening to our broadcast today. Navy Federal Credit Union proudly serves the armed forces, the DOD, veterans, and their families. Our members are the mission. Learn more at NavyFederal.org. We have just had something happen, uh, which we don't see very often. We don't. Dre Greenlaw getting ready to run onto the field after that punt, and he planted his left foot, and it looks, and I don't want to speculate, but it looked like it could have been an Achilles injury that it may have just popped as he was running onto the field. No contact whatsoever. Laura Oakman is on the field on the sideline. Laura. It's, I feel the same way Kurt does. You never want to speculate, but there's things you look at, and he tried to get up but can put no weight. They're oh. actually trying to walk right now on that left leg, and what always worries me with Achilles, how sudden it is, is he was laying down with all the doctors leaning over and talking to him, but not touching anything. So right now they have him up. He's very gingerly trying to put weight on that left leg, but everyone's just coming over, hugging him, patting him on the back, and he's absolutely in distress trying to just walk a little bit as they're, as they're just kind of helping him off the field. And, and, Laura, I do see the cart. Do you see it as well in the back of the end zone coming out to get him? Yeah, and, and that's what we all kind of keep looking. Like, where is the cart? Where is the cart? And right now, it, I also think, Kevin, the sidelines are so tight. Right. So everything getting over here has been a little slower. But right now, he is still over here on the sideline looking for that card to come out. Laura, thank you very much. First and 10 shotgun formation. Chiefs at their 20. Mahomes pump fakes. He's hit. He escapes. He's on the hash. He's back pedaling to the numbers. Chase Young has him. Mahomes tries to heave the ball to the far sideline as he was being dragged down. And they're going to throw a penalty flag, I believe, on the play. Grounding, I'm thinking, on Mahomes. I don't right? believe the ball got back to the Intentional line. Intentional grounding. Yeah, I don't think the ball got back to the line of scrimmage. He did a nice job getting out there, out outside the pocket, but that ball's got to get back to the line of scrimmage, right, Dean? Exactly right. That's what they're talking about now. Did the ball get back to the line of scrimmage? Was there a receiver in the area? The referee can get help from the wing officials here. I did the think... The grounding. Offense number 15. 10-yard penalty. Loss it down. Second half. Hmm. Did look to me that there was a receiver in the area, but... Got to get back to the line of scrimmage. The ball was a few yards short right there. Good call by the officials. Greenlaw has just been put on the cart. They're taking him to the locker room. His replacement is Demetrius Flanagan Fowles. He'll be out there with Burks. But that, that really changes their linebacking core. Well, it changes everything. When you're talking about one of the best linebackers in the National Football League, very versatile, can play a lot of different positions, do a lot of different things. That is a huge injury for this 49ers defense. Chiefs break huddle at their own 10 with the penalty. Now second down and 20. Trailing here in the second quarter of the Super Bowl. 3 nothing. Mahomes is in the gun. He walks to the line. He points out his protections. Four in the defensive line for the Niners. Shotgun snap. Hand off Pacheco. Over the right guard. On the hash into the Kansas City 15-14 yard line. Kurt again a four. We'll call it third and 16 coming up. <laughs> this Kansas City offense. 53 yards on one play. On their other 13 plays, they've only got about 30 yards on the game. They just can't get anything going, and now they find themselves once again in a third and really, really long situation. Chiefs in their bright red jerseys, white pants, red helmets. McKinnon is in, shotgun snap, Chiefs 14, third and 16, winding up Mahomes, hit, grab, slips away once, almost slipped away twice, and down he goes. Hit by Armstead, grabbed around the ankles. Shoved down. He got as far as the Chiefs 17-yard line. It'll be fourth and 13. He only picked up three. Running for his life. It's a punting situation. Well, what's been the big story all year long with this Chiefs offense is the wide receivers on the outside. 
dropping passes. Can they create separation? And that has been the theme. It's third and long, not easy, but no separation on the back end leads to another sack. Townsend to punt for the Chiefs inside his five. Belt high long snap. Right-footed punt. Ray Ray McLeod looking up into the translucent roof. Waving his arms, backpedaling, catching the ball on the hash. At the Niner, 33, more shoving after the play. 50-yard punt, 5.5 on the hang. Our clock is at 7.49. We're in the second quarter. A Super Bowl record 55-yard Niner field goal. 3-0 San Francisco. Break in the action. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. We're back at Super Bowl 58 with Kurt Warner and Dean Blandino in the booth. Kevin Harlan, we're in the Granger broadcast booth here in Vegas. Game changers count on Granger for professional grade products, fast delivery, and free technical support. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by to get what you need. 3 0 Niners. The Chiefs just punted, and on the scoreboard moments ago, they showed Taylor Swift chugging a beer. There's nothing more American than that, right, Kurt? <laughs> I mean, she did it, and if it you was, say it so, was, and it if was you a good say job. so, I will agree with you. It was nothing like more American. <laughs> wow! Uh, to the sideline, live in Laura Oakman. If Kurt won't say so, I will say so. Did you so. see it? Yes, did you Kevin. See it? Yes, of I was did. cheering it as I saw it. <laughs> I'm going to do a hard segue right good, now as good. we talk about that. But Dre Greenlaw, they finally got that card over. It's just such tight sidelines with all these people here. Obviously, the extra people, but. We have gotten word from the Niners. It is his left Achilles. That is a shame. Laura, thank you. First and 10 after the Chiefs punt. 33 of the Niners. It's Purdy in the gun. McCaffrey's in motion. Four-man rush. Here's the snap. Setting up the right-handed Purdy. Short pass across the middle. Dropped on across. Samuel at the San Francisco. 40 on the hash. It's incomplete, Kurt. Second and 10 for the Niners, who lead it 3-0 halfway through the second quarter. Uh, he hasn't missed many throws on the day but he missed that one right there and there was a lot of green grass in front of Debo sees that thing hit the turf and he just stops and pauses and gives it one of those looks like oh give me a foot higher and that becomes a huge play for the 49ers. Chiefs will have five in the secondary Niners break huddle moving on the Super Bowl logo from our right to our left their own 33 the quarterback Purdy in the gun second and ten belt high snap one five throw up the middle that's caught by Samuel on a crossing pattern between the hash belt high he was whacked at about the 42 he ping-ponged his way to the 45 got to the shield picks up a first down it is a gain of uh, 12 on second down and 10 he says that's better yep. have Christian McCaffrey come out of the backfield running a choice route underneath it the linebacker goes and jumps Christian opening up that window for the quick post and a nice throw and catch as contact was made as soon as the ball got there. Rock Purdy is 9 of 13 for 117. He looks terrific. He's under center with his own 45. First and 10. He gets the snap. He fakes the handoff. He drops back seven. Cocks his arm. Has time. Short pass. Caught right at the 50. McCaffrey bent backwards by Reed. Crawls into Kansas City territory at about the 49. He was just inside the painted numbers. Landing on the grass. Got to the 49 of the Chiefs and picks up six on first down. Well, the Chiefs can't get any pressure on Brock Purdy. He's standing back there, and he was holding the football forever, trying to get a chop down the field, trying to get the deep over. Couldn't get there. Worked all the way down to Christian McCaffrey. But it's all about doing a nice job up front in the protection. Chiefs have four in the defensive line. The Niners facing second down four. Chiefs 49. There's a snap, and it goes off to McCaffrey on a handoff. Runs over the left tackle, has the first down. He has a robust move past the 45 and to the Chiefs 44 for a first, running on the numbers on a gain of five. And there's no doubt offensively San Francisco's got to be feeling good about what they've done through this first quarter and a half. The only problem is they're only up three to nothing. They've got to find a way to finish these drives and get points on the board. Do not want to keep it within one score when you've got Patrick Mahomes on the other side. Second year running back Elijah Mitchell is back there. They're on the logo. San Francisco at the Kansas City 44. Under center Purdy got the snap. Hands off to Mitchell. He runs over the right tackle on the hash. Past the Kansas City 40 and swerving his way to the Kansas City 37. Elijah Mitchell with a seven-yard run on first down for the Niners who lead it 3 nothing. Five and a half clock ticking second quarter. Jawan Jennings is known for his physicality on the outside. Two straight plays 
as he's blocking on the outside. There's a pushing and shoving on the back end with the DB. Something to keep an eye on for us throughout this game. Does it lead to somebody getting under somebody's skin and a 15-yard penalty? Chiefs are going back to four in the secondary. Second down, three. With the ball at the 37-yard line of Kansas City, the pitch out to Mitchell, a block by East Jack. And he runs into the grasp of Chris Jones at the Chiefs 36. So a gain of a yard and a flag thrown and more jawing and shoving after the play. And the officials are running out. Dean Blandino, I see a couple of officials dressed with black windbreakers on. They're the replacement officials, correct? Yes, those are the alternate officials. They can't throw flags, but they can get involved and break up scuffles like just happened there. After the play was over, personal foul. Defense number 38, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. If you're not going to say it, I'm going to say it. I'm really good at this analysis thing. You see how I just said somebody was going to get a 15-yard <laughs> penalty? Boom! The next play, Kevin. Well, you're pretty amazing. <laughs> I said it once, I'll say it again. But it is one of those things that that frustration, the physicality of the 49ers pushing and shoving on those DBs. you got to hold your composure. But Jerry Sneed, he's been so good all year long, but... You can't get caught after the whistle. All right, the Niners again are threatening. They're at the Kansas City 21. Our first half clock is at 448, and it's ticking. The Niners lead it 3-0. Brock Purdy is in the gun. McCaffrey comes in motion, empty backfield. It's first and 10 San Francisco, deep in Chiefs territory. Tied in motion, shotgun snap, line drive throw. It's a crossing pattern, shallow and dropped by Samuel. Broken up by the all-pro, Legereus Sneed. Incomplete on the hash and the short pass down the middle. And second and ten for the Niners. Welcome to NFL Flag, where there's a position for everyone. Get ready to run, throw, jump, and fly. Let's play by visiting NFLflag.com to find the lead today, Kurt. Brought the pressure right there, Chiefs defense. And, man, Brock Purdy just got it off before Nick Bolton landed a big hit. On him right there. You're going to see that. Spagnolo, the defensive coordinator for the Chiefs, does a great job of hiding the blitzes and getting after quarterbacks. Chiefs 21, second and 10. Jacques on snap. They throw laterally. Caught by Jennings, who then throws back the other way. Caught in the far side. McCaffrey, 25, 20, 15, 10. Broke a tackle on the number five. Touchdown, San Francisco. The Niners have just scored the first touchdown of Super Bowl 58. A catch and run with some trickery. 21 yards. McCaffrey. The Niners up now. 9 to nothing. Late first half. This is interesting here as they throw it out to Jennings there. And it looked like they were ha had a deep over route as if that was his first option to throw the deep one. Didn't have it. Threw it all the way back to the other side on the screen. Good blocking out in front of it. And 23 does the rest. That, by the way, the fifth non-quarterback to throw a touchdown pass in the Super Bowl. Here's Moody to try the extra point. Late in the first half, good snap, ball put down, right-footed kick to our left is perfect. The Niners have gone up 10-0 on the Chiefs. They led the Chiefs in the third quarter in the Super Bowl 54 game by 10. And the Chiefs came back to win that. Right now, 10-0 Niners. Second quarter clock at 423. We step aside. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. Mike Golick, we just had the first touchdown of Super uh, Super Bowl 58. 10 nothing Niners. We send it down to you. Well, first off, I'm on the Kansas City sideline, guys. It, it is dead on the sideline. Guys just walking around. Guys who have multiple Super Bowl experience just kind of wandering around like live, just watching San Francisco not only beating them, but being more physical than them right now. They need a spark somewhere. And on the San Francisco side, remember Kyle Shan was the head coach here a couple of years ago, and then the OC in Atlanta. Both Super Bowls, he never had a back with more than 15 touches in a game. Chris McCaffrey's at 13 touches, and we're not even at halftime throwing a touchdown to boot. So we knew that script was going to change, but the script on this KC field and sideline needs to change as well. As a, as a defending champion, Kurt, as uh, Mike just points out, I mean, they've got tons of experience in this big game. Well, they're probably looking around right now and going, what's going on? Why yep. can't we get anything going on offense? This defense that's carried them is really getting manhandled, as Mike said. But sometimes in big games like that, it just takes one 
just takes one big play, somebody to step up. The problem is you can't look around and wait for somebody else to do it. Everybody got to say, it's going to be me. All right, the Niners are set to kick off. After Jawan Jennings, their receiver just threw a touchdown pass at 21 yards, a catch and run by McCaffrey. The subsequent Niner kickoff to the Chiefs out of the end zone, painted scarlet to our left. It'll be a touchback. The Chiefs will get it first and ten. The Philly special was the last time a non-quarterback threw a touchdown pass in the Super Bowl. We were there. We saw it. We just saw it again here this afternoon. It was in Super Bowl 52. The Eagles against the Pats. So here we go now. Kansas City. Mahomes is only five of six. It's first and ten. Chiefs 25. Shotgun snap. Pitch out goes to Pacheco. 25. Running to the far sideline. The 30. Running into the San Francisco bench at about the uh, Niner 33, 32 yard line at uh, the Kansas City 32 yard line. We're still trying to get a, a spot on the ball. And they're very slow with it here. Uh, they're just trying to make sure. 33 of the Chiefs on a gain of eight on that pitch out to Isaiah Pacheco for the Chiefs. Second down and two. Lining up in the eye with a couple tight ends. Kelsey in motion. Four-man front by the Niners. Mahomes under center. Snap, spin, handoff. Pacheco like a bullet up the middle as the first down. Racing by the 35 of the Chiefs. On the hash mark to the 39, it's a gain of six, Kurt. A first down for Kansas City. We are late in the first half. 10-0 Niners. A good start to this drive right here. First down, they toss it to the outside. That's an area the San Francisco defense has been struggling with in the playoffs, giving up over 160 yards rushing. And then just a reminder, no Dre Greenlaw, who suffered that Achilles injury earlier in the game. Five in the second area for the Niners. First and ten for the Chiefs. Their own 39. Shotgun snap is knee high. Blocked by the left tackle. Here's a short throw. Down the middle it goes Mahomes. It's caught by Pacheco. Got it at the 40. Angles to the near side. The Kansas City 45. Tackled outside the painted numbers on the grass. And a quick gain of six on first down. It is so strange to watch Patrick Mahomes make every throw within five yards of the line of scrimmage. The one deep play on that fake corner post, but everything else has been underneath and short. And why do you think that is? Well, it's really become the evolution of what their offense is, but a lot falls on these wide receivers. Not great at creating space down the field. 45 to the Chiefs. Edwards Alaire the back. Second down four. Snaps then Edwards Alaire over the left tackle. Stoned. Grabbed on the play by Bosa. Left down in the shoulder pads of Edwards Alaire, the Chiefs running back. And down he went at the 44. Losing a yard in Kansas City territory, bringing up third down and five. And we're getting close to the two-minute warning at 2.13 and ticking right now. Well, that's kind of surprising. You don't see Kansas City very often that. in those type of situations. Hand the football off. Put it in your hand, put the hands of your quarterback, number 15, a couple times. We're at the two-minute warning. We've had an, a Super Bowl record 55-yard field goal by the Niners. And a wide receiver, Jennings, threw a 21-yard touchdown pass to Christian McCaffrey with a catch and run. The two-minute warning is here, and it's sponsored by First Alert. When's the last time you replace your smoke alarms? First Alert introduces new precision detection smoke alarm technology to help protect what matters most. Visit firstalert.com to learn more. San Francisco 10, Kansas City nothing. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. All right, the Chiefs have it. They're at their own 45. We're at the two-minute warning. They trail 10 to nothing. They line up at their own 45. They have three timeouts. Mahomes in the gun, looks over the defense. The flag is thrown. False start, Chiefs. False start. Offense number 12. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. Kurt Warner, that's on McCole Hartman at Kansas City. Another Chiefs penalty. Well, Mike was saying how it was dead on the sideline. We've seen Travis Kelsey bump into Andy Reid, get fired up on the sideline. Mistake after mistake after mistake. Five penalties on the day for 50 yards already. McKinnon the back. Mahomes in the gun. Four-man front for the Niners. Chiefs inside their own 40. Third down nine. 
There's the shotgun snap. The block by the right tackle. Moving up, crumbling pocket. Breaks the tackle. Mahomes running 35. On the numbers, throws downfield. It's caught on the play by the wide receiver, Watson. Inside the numbers, flag thrown. Weaved his way to the 39 of San Francisco. And we'll see as both teams are pointing toward each other. And Mahomes says it's against the Niners. Holding. Defense of a 54. Penalty decline. Results of the play, first down. That's on the celebrated linebacker, Fred Warner. Not a lot of separation on the back end. We've been talking about that. So Patrick Mahomes using those legs, buying a little extra time to allow his receivers to separate on the back end. Really nice job working together and good job by 15 to create some time for his guys down the field. Chiefs three timeouts, first half clock at 150, trailing 10-0 to San Francisco. Shotgun formation is low around his ankles. 39 is San Francisco. Mahomes comes a line drive pass. Dropped on a tumble by the receiver, Justin Watson, on the painted numbers at about the 20-yard line of San Francisco. That was catchable. His club hands could not reel it in. Incomplete pass. Was catchable. Was not easy. About a yard back behind Watson. He's trying to protect him from the guy out in front of him. And Patrick Mahomes put a little heat on it, too, so not an easy catch, but it's going to lend itself to us asking that question because we've seen a lot of drops from this chief receiver core throughout the season. Five in the secondary for the Niners. Mahomes second down 10. San Francisco 39. Here's a shotgun snap low. He throws it out of the backfield laterally. Caught by Pacheco, 40. Near sideline, poke a tackle, and out of bounds near the 35. And he hops his way literally on one leg and a pogo stick down to the 31 of the Niners on the near sideline in front of his own bench. And by that move, he picks up eight, setting up third and two for the Chiefs at the 31 of the Niners. Smart play there by Patrick Mahomes. Just take the quick one. Hit your back right now. He's got a little bit of space. Get eight yards back. Put yourself in a manageable third down situation third down to 31 yard line of san francisco shotgun formation for mahomes four-man front there's the snap the four-man rush the quick throw sidearm throw caught 30 yard line and diving is rice as he catches the ball ahead he goes to the 25 of the niners he picks up a first down he dives on the hash mark it's a first and ten a gain of six on the short throw by patrick mahomes nice little rub route on the outside rice on the outside mvs inside just a one step comes right underneath and rubs off a Marquez Valdez Campo. Here's a first and ten throw. Down the middle it goes. And by Rice, 20 runs on the hash mark to the 15 of San Francisco. On that first and ten, he picks up ten. Another first down. Put him inside the 15 of the Niners. And now Mahomes and this Kansas City offense are chugging. Got a little thing going. Quick throw, quick throw, quick throw. Nice job. Seeing a little bit of space for Rasheed Rice. No hesitation. Hit the back foot. Put it right on him. First charge, timeout. Timeout take again by the Kansas Chiefs. City. Timeout on the field, 10-0 San Francisco, 103 to play in the first half. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. Reminder to stay with us for the Super Bowl 58 halftime report here on Westwood One, sponsored by Wendy Scott Graham. We'll be joined by Devin McCourty to break down the first half, plus an interview with the new Chargers head coach, Jim Harbaugh, all coming up on the Wendy's Halftime Report. Wendy's this two for three dollar biggie bundle are here. Limited time only during breakfast hours. Kurt and I treated ourselves and Dean joined us for a biggie bundle earlier this week and it was delicious. We loved it. You especially. Kurt, you eat down those babies like there's no tomorrow. You know me, it doesn't matter what it is. I, I love my food. <laughs> biggie <laughs> bundles for sure. All right. 109 to go. Chiefs have it inside the 15 of San Francisco. First and 10. Shotgun snap. Quick throw inside it goes. It's Rice with the catch. Helmet high at the 15. Angles inside the painted numbers. Down to the 11 yard line of San Francisco. It's a pickup of three. It was a quick short release. Second down seven for the Chiefs. And they've got two timeouts remaining and lining up at the 11. We talked about it so many times throughout the season. Remember the Chiefs get the ball out of the second half. Here's a chance to double up. Down two scores. Get one now. Come out of the half. Score again. Right back in this thing. San Francisco 11. It is second down seven. A shotgun snap and a handoff to Rice. who is off the hip of Mahomes. And he wiggles his way over the left tackle. Down to the nine of San Francisco. Gain it to third and five for the Chiefs. Timeout taken. 29 seconds to go in the first half. And the Chiefs 
began this drive, Kurt, at their own 25, and they've moved downfield well. There really hasn't been a lot of big plays. The one third down scramble play to Watson, biggest play on this drive, but a lot of quick throws. And for those listening at home, we're on the 10-yard line. They can still get a first down if they can get just inside the five so they don't have to score here on third down. A chance to get a new set of downs. Later on, we're going to select the drive of the game. It's sponsored by AutoZone. Make AutoZone your end zone. Check engine light on. Get a check with the free AutoZone six finder service. Get in the zone, AutoZone. Restrictions apply. The Chiefs are huddling up. They've got the ball just inside the 10 of the San Francisco 49ers. Here in Super Bowl 58, 31 seconds to go in the first half. It has been kind of a clunky first half offensively for the Chiefs. Again, one of their best drives right here. The last time they had a goal to go in this game, they fumbled the ball. Here they go. Third and five. Mahomes in the gun. McKinnon at his side. Four, five, six on the line. The shotgun snap. The four-man rush. He runs up. Now he's grabbed. And down goes Mahomes. Running up the middle. Hit by Armstead on the play. Big time defensive play. Losing a yard. It's fourth and six. And a timeout has been taken. The clock at 15 seconds to go. And I think the Chiefs are going to try. Yep, they are for three. The defense of the Niners holds, Kurt. They do. Patrick Mahomes stepping up in the pocket. Actually jumped in the air. Looked like he was going to try a jump pass. And then he didn't like it. Comes back down to the ground. And then the back. Good drive by Kansas City. Not the six points, seven points that you wanted. But you're getting three. Only 15 seconds to go. And... A reminder, they're getting the ball out the second half so you can turn the tails very, very quickly if you can get a good drive going out of the half. Chief. First half resume has not been impressive. They have punted twice to begin the game. They fumbled with a goal to go. They punted the last time, and they moved the ball here, but they're going to have to settle for a three-point try, a 28-yard field goal try by Harrison Butker. And the interesting thing is they never have had the lead with Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl three times previously tied once but down in the other two here they go 23 seconds to go here in the first half they've added a bit of time Butker will try to put the first points on the board for the Chiefs the snap is good it's between the hash marks and the right footed kick is perfect a 28 yard field goal by the Kansas City Chiefs Harrison Butker to get on the board here in Super Bowl 58 with 20 seconds to play before halftime with that field goal, Barbasol will make another donation to Curtin Brenda Warner's Treasure House. It's a living community for adults with disabilities. Barbasol, the trusted choice for a close, comfortable shave. Close Shave America, Close Shave Barbasol. We have seen today a couple of interesting sideline things for the Chiefs. One, Kelsey running up to Andy Reid and incredibly animated, actually bumping into his head coach and looked uh, like in, in true disgust and then we saw another one with chris jones on the sideline yelling at his teammates on the defensive side well we've seen some frustration from this chiefs team throughout the year remember the patrick mahomes game against buffalo where he was going crazy we've seen travis kelsey a couple times get after it but big moments like this you understand what's at stake and sometimes you can let the emotions get the best of you, but you got to settle back in. Maybe that three points in the long halftime allows those guys to settle back in and come out and play better in the second half. Butker will kick off for the Chiefs after his 28-yard field goal. Cuts the lead to seven of San Francisco. And the kick to our right is over the gold-painted end zone. Out of bounds, touchback to the 25. Let's check the drive summary. Sponsored by the University of Maryland Global Campus. Earn an undergraduate degree online with UMGC. Learn more at umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. It was a 28-yard field goal on a 13-play, 65-yard cheap drive. It was a big play, a 21-yard pass to Watson on third down. So here come the Niners. 20 seconds to go. Three timeouts. And a shotgun snap from their own 25, and it goes to Purdy with a handoff, and it's over the left tackle, and McCaffrey works his way to the 32 with more shoving. The 32 of the Niners, and they're going to let the clock tick down to zero, and it has come down to, and we got more separation of linemen once again 
on the field. In fact, the and Dean, here we go again with some of those reserve officials running out to the field to assist the existing officiating crew and breaking up some skirmishes. Exactly right. They didn't want anything to escalate as the teams go into the locker room before halftime and did a good job getting in between. All right, so it's a seven-point... 10-3 lead for San Francisco with one touchdown thrown by a wide receiver to Christian McCaffrey. Quickly, uh, widen your lens here, Kurt Warner, your first half thoughts. Well, San Francisco's got to be feeling good about how they dominated the football game, but not feeling as good that they've only got a seven-point lead right now. Kansas City didn't play very well, but their best drive going into the half, feeling good that, hey, we get the ball out of the half, we can turn this thing around. All right, that's the end of the first half. San Francisco 10, the Chiefs 3. When we come back, Scott Graham rejoins us with the Wendy's Halftime Report. From Las Vegas, you're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One Radio. Welcome back to Las Vegas and Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One, including playoff games. The Chiefs, with the least points scored in the first half of a game since October of 2021. It was the Titans when they were shut out. So, Kurt Warner, the fewest points by them in the first half in 54 games. You can talk about that as you advise us on what each team needs to do in the second half in order to win. Sponsored by Fidelity Wealth Management. With Fidelity Wealth Management... Your dedicated advisor will work with you to create a personalized plan that can adjust as your needs change. Learn more at fidelity.com slash wealth. Invest minimums apply. Fidelity Brokerage Services, LLC. So you take that note and take your thoughts from there. Well, as you said, only three points for Kansas City, but I love what they did on the last drive. It was a lot of quick throws. Not quick throws going sideways, but quick throws down the field. Keep that up, up in the second half. For San Francisco, you feel like they dominated the first half, only up seven points. Got to find a way to finish drives. And really the theme of the first half was some decent drives going on, but when the teams got fell behind the sticks, got in long-yarded situations, they could not convert. Either team, either offense, got to stay ahead of the sticks in the second half. Mike Golick, we go to him live on the Kansas City sideline. Well, with, with San Francisco in the lead, good news, though, for Kansas City. They've held teams in the postseason to just over three yard, or three points in the second half. So if they're able to do that again and get that offense going, we believe that offense can get going. But a lot of frustration on that sideline over there. We talked earlier about uh, Travis Kelsey bumping into coach and people kind of trying to calm Travis down with only the, you know, the one catch and the one target to him. Even, even when they only scored 14 points against Baltimore, he had 11 receptions. He used to be more a part of this. And big for San Francisco, they, they've been great this year. And they're the least amount of red zone drives given up this year. Kansas City got there twice, turned the ball over once, and only got a field goal the second time. Laura, what's going on with San Francisco? No Kyle. frustration over here from Kyle Shanahan, who said, I love how we were playing. This is kind of what we expected. But added just a matter of time when Mahomes gets going, so we got to keep the ball away from him like we have been. Be smart offensively. Take our shots when they're there. Keep scoring points. Defensively, he said losing Drake Greenlaw is just huge. You guys have to step up. All right, elephant on the field. Kyle Shanahan, his head coach and offensive coordinator, has had a halftime lead at the Super Bowl before. So what he told his guys, coming out score is 0-0. We have been in these situations before. We cannot play the same but better in the second half. Gavin? Laura, thank you very much. Time now for the second half kickoff, sponsored by NetSuite by Oracle, the number one cloud financial system is everything you need to grow all in one place. Financials, inventory, HR, and more. Make better decisions faster so you can do more and spend less at netsuite.com slash big game. That's netsuite.com slash big game. Here's the kickoff by San Francisco. It is out of the end zone. Painted gold with Chiefs and big red letters to our right. It is out first and 10. It's a touchback, Kurt Warner, to the 2025, and here we go with 30 minutes of regulation football ahead. A long halftime for both teams. Chiefs were hot at the end of the first half. Let's see if that carries over, if they cooled down with that long Usher halftime. It's Pacheco in the backfield. The quarterback is Mahomes under center with the first and 10. The snap, the pitch up. Pacheco fumbled the ball. Back at the 5, 10, and there he goes jumping on the ball and tackled back there by Bosa and others. They say his knee 
was down at the 13, although he rolled back to the 10, his second fumble. But he recovers that one. They lose 12 on that play. Back to the Kansas City 13. And one of the simplest things, right? You take your eyes off the football, no matter what level of football you play, and it's easy to drop it. That's exactly what Pacheco did right there, looking to the edge to see where he was going to run and drop the football. Now, second down, 22, Chiefs 13, four-man front for the Niners. In the shotgun, Mahomes, receivers in tight. Hardman in motion, the fake to him, back to pass Mahomes, short pass up the middle. It's caught at the 20-yard line. It's hit the tight end, Gray, who then runs up to about the 23 of the Chiefs. He picks up 10, Kurt third and 12 on the first possession of the second half. You can't let one play get you down, but man, coming out of the half, you feel like you got some momentum. First play, you fumble it. Now you find yourself on third and long on your first drive. McKinnon has come in. It is third down and 12. Mahomes in the gun is Kansas City 23. Two receivers to the near side. Four-man rush. Shotgun snap. Blocked by the right tackle. Mahomes runs up. Pump fakes. Goes down the far sideline. Intercepted. Intercepted on the leap at the 45. And down going is Tyre Brown. A rookie out Penn State for San Francisco. In front of his bench. Far sideline at the Kansas City 44. One of the big defensive plays in this game in Super Bowl 58. Hard to say exactly what happened here as Patrick Mahomes steps up. He's got two receivers there. Marquez Valdez Scantling on a deep route. And then Travis Kelsey underneath. He had Travis Kelsey open, but he, if he was throwing it to me, overthrew him by 10 yards. If he was throwing it to MBS behind it, he just didn't see the DB who was sitting outside of him. The Niners are breaking huddle on the NFL shield. They assemble at the Kansas City 44. White jerseys, gold pants moving left to right. In the shotgun purdy off his right hip is McCaffrey. First and 10, San Francisco. In motion, Samuel. The shotgun snap. The block by the left tackle. The chase and the throw to the near sideline by Purdy. Incomplete. At about the 45 of the Chiefs, he was uh, being pressured by the linebacker, Leo Chanel. It's second down and 10 for San Francisco. <laughs> Quick pressure right there, as you said. Good play by Brock Purdy. Nothing there. If he held it for another second, he's probably taking a big sack. Just flip it out and live for another down. They had the longest field goal in Super Bowl history in this one of 55 yards. He had a wide receiver through a San Francisco touchdown, a catch and run 21 by McCaffrey. Now an interception by the Niners. They're at the 44, the Chiefs in a second and 10, and we got a flag Both and whistle. Third. Offense number 65. Five yard penalty, still second down. Starting left guard, third year, Notre Dame Aaron Banks will pick that up. Another offensive line penalty for the Niners. Well, again, this has been the theme, right? You, you do some good things, you get great field position after the turnover. And then it's been mistakes on both sides. Fumble on the pitch. Five-yard penalty right here. It has been the problem for both teams and why they haven't been able to finish and get points. Now second down, 15, lining up on the NFL shield. Painted it midfield on the grass. In the shotgun, Purdy. He looks at a four-man front for the Chiefs. Second, 15, Kansas City, 49. It's a five-man rush. Purdy gets a block. He moves up in the pocket. Low pass, incomplete. Looking for a short cross from Samuel. Who is running laterally, Kurt, on the Chiefs 45. Heavy pressure, a lot of duress, incomplete third and 15 coming up. Really good coverage there by Duffy on Debo. That ball's low and to the ground. If he makes a good, accurate throw right here, that may be an interception by McDuffie. He was right in the hip pocket of Debo, so I'm not sure if that was a throwaway or a missed throw, but fortunate for the 49ers. Niners are breaking huddle again. McCaffrey remains in the game. Purdy wiping his hands on that white towel off his belt buckle. Third and 15, she's 49, shotgun snap. Blocked by Williams, the left tackle, running up his pretty to the far side. The numbers chased to the 50, far side line, 45 of Kansas City, and out of bounds. It was Willie Gay in hot pursuit. And he gained about five on the play. It's fourth and 10, and the Chiefs defense holds, and the offense and the Niners can do nothing with that interception out of the homes moments ago. And what did we say at the half? Key, stay ahead of the sticks. Both teams have fallen behind the sticks, right? Find themselves in long yardage situations. Both teams either turning the football over with the punt or the interception. All right, Wisnowski's going to punt for San Francisco. 
Inside his own 45. James back for the Chiefs at the 10. The San Francisco punt. The right-footed boot. It's along the numbers on the far sideline. Landing at the 5. And caught at the 1. Caught at the 1 by the former Chiefs wide receiver Chris Conley. Now of the Niners. Who is sitting there and looking up as if he was getting the punt himself. It bounced right into his 84 in the front of his jersey. And down they are marooning the Chiefs at the 2. What a punt. What special teams. Timeout taken. 12-31, third quarter. 10-3, San Francisco. This is Westwood One's coverage of Super Bowl 58. We're back on Westwood One, Super Bowl 58 from Las Vegas with Hall of Fame quarterback Kurt Warner, our rules analyst Dean Blandino, Kevin Harlan here in the Granger broadcast. Game plan with Granger to gain a competitive advantage. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. For the supplies and solutions to help keep your business moving forward. We've just had a terrific punt by San Francisco, and it pins the Chiefs down to the two-yard line, Kurt Warner. First and ten. Yeah, 12 drives in the game. Six punts, two fumbles, one interception, the two field goals, and the lone touchdown up to this point. The Chiefs, through this postseason, have gone 15 straight drives with no touchdowns. That's the longest in Patrick Mahomes' career. And this one, if they're going to get six points on the board, it's going to be a long drive. Chiefs are breaking huddle in their own end zone. They line up at the two. Mahomes in the gun about three yards deep. He looks into four defensive backs for the Niners. First and ten Chiefs at their own two. Shotgun snap the fake hand off the right tackle block. He's going long with the pass down the near sideline. Incomplete at the 40 of the Chiefs and aiming for Marquez Valdez. It'll be second and ten for the Chiefs at their two to get impatient when you're standing in your own end zone a couple pump fakes there by Patrick Mahomes and just missed that throw way wide to the outside I think it was more about impatience and just kind of laid it out there more as a throw away than anything third quarter clock 12 26 10 3 Niners Chiefs have it second down 10 at their two in the shotgun and four yards deep in his own end zone there's the snap to Mahomes and a quick throw to the far side. Caught by Kelsey. Far side line five. Bulldozes his way to the 10. May have gotten a first down on the far side. He was drilled over there by his former teammate, Traverius Ward. On that second and 10, they pick up nine. They're a yard shy, just outside their own 11. And now it'll be third and one for the Chiefs. Travis Kelsey hasn't been very involved in mm -hmm. this game. Just a second catch right there. One yard screen pass earlier. Seen the frustration. 87 wants to get the football, but Fred Warner and company doing a nice job on him. Mahomes under his own 11. Everybody in tight. Pacheco about uh, seven yards off. Oh, there's a whistle. And a timeout. Timeout First taken. Timeout. It's on Kansas, Kansas City. City. 11.46 here in the third quarter. Right now, let's pause 10 seconds for our 640 stations across the country to identify themselves. Coast to coast, around the world, this is Westwood One, your home for the Super Bowl. Also want to say hello to the men and women serving in our armed forces all over the world, listening on American Armed Forces Radio to our broadcast. Over 175 countries, 150 military ships carrying our broadcast today. After the Chiefs timeout, third and one, Mahomes under center. His own 11, he gets a snap and he spins and he hands to Pacheco, who tries to dive over the right guard on the hash. Ooh, it's going to be close. He needed the 12. It looked like uh, Oren Burks may have stopped him, the former Green Bay Packer draft choice. As he tried to submarine, I think he's short, Kurt. Man, it depends on oh the spot right goodness. here, but I'm with you. It was really, really close. Boy, he was hit. I think it was Kinlaw who got him. It was who stopped him initially, and then Burks shoved him backwards. So now it's fourth and inches. The Chiefs have sent their punting unit on the field, and the Niners hold. And they began at the two. They get no further than their 12, the punting unit out there. Probably the right call, but so frustrating as a quarterback on third and short. You want the ball in your hands especially when you don't pick it up. Townsend is three yards deep in the end zone to punt for the Chiefs. Deep back is Ray Ray McLeod, who's at the 45 of the Niners. A belt high long snap, a right-footed punt is sent high, looking into the roof, waving his arm, signaling for and cradling the ball with a fair catch into his chest at his own 36-yard line is McLeod. And that is the 36 of San Francisco. The Niners offense will take the field and will step aside on a 53-yard Kansas City punt. 
10.45 in the third. San Francisco 10, Chiefs 3. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood 1. Back at Super Bowl 58 and stay on top of all the Super Bowl stories today with Westwood 1 Sports by following us on X, formerly Twitter. We'll be posting behind-the-scenes photos from our broadcast position, the post-game celebration on the field, and much, much more at Westwood One Sports. That's Westwood, the number one, then sports on X. Our producer, our executive producer, is Howard Dineroff, and he has been a part of over 30 Super Bowl broadcasts, 35th to be exact, here on Westwood One slash CBS. So uh, congratulations to him. Al Rosenberg is doing his 26th Super Bowl for Westwood One. We thank him. Kurt Warner, you're doing your sixth or seventh? What is it? I think it's the I sixth. I don't know. I've, it's, it seems like I don't like know. They're forever. all awesome, but <laughs> I lose track. Yeah. All right. So here are the Niners who just got the Chiefs punt. Chiefs have had it seven times. An interception, a fumble, they get a field goal, and they've punted three times. Oh, wow. Yes, it's, it's been ugly. But you know, we talked about how great Brock Purdy was early, and they've kind of been shut down as well. He started out eight for nine. He's been two of his last eight. I keep saying, you can't let this Chiefs team hang around. You just feel like Patrick Mahomes and company are going to get going at some point. San Francisco, good field position again. Let's see if they can finish this time out. Niners are huddled up right now. They'll begin this after the Chiefs punt at the 36. They have it first down in 10. Purdy through the air, 10 of 17, 123. Lining up with a couple tight ends and a single back. Purdy is under center with the first down in 10. His own 36 looks at a four-man front. The snap, the spin, the fake handoff, drops back seven. Chased by Jones, breaks the tackle, sidearm throw Jennings. He is it behind the line of scrimmage on the near side numbers by the Chiefs linebacker Chanel. Back at the San Francisco 28. It's a loss of eight. Kurt Warner and bringing up in 18 for San Francisco. Good job on the back end by Brock Purdy to avoid the sack, but this is one where as you're going to throw, you got to see the color around your rec- knowing that he's behind the line of scrimmage. Just throw this into the ground right here. Completion does you absolutely no good. Shotgun formation for Purdy with the loss. is back to his own 28. They're moving from our left to our right on the grass. Five wide, shotgun formation, second 18, gets the snap, his own 28, left tackle block, there's a pass and a diving catch on the numbers at about the 32. McCaffrey then, uh, as he fell to catch it, Bounced back up, hit on the play, picks up seven, bringing up third down and 11 up at the San Francisco 35. COVID-19 can keep you on the sidelines. If you're more likely to get very sick from COVID, ask a doctor if a prescription oral treatment is right for you. Visit TreatCOVID19.com, sponsored by Pfizer. Chiefs have brought in a sixth defensive back. Niners break huddle at their own 35. In the shotgun. They're only one of five on third down. Third and 11 right here. Purdy with his left foot ahead of his right. Shotgun snap. Belt high. Sets those an arching spiral pass. Far sideline. And incomplete. Looking for Kittle. Who is covered in the play by Shamari Connor. It's incomplete. They can do nothing with it. A big defensive play by the Chiefs on first down. Messes up that drive. And we've got a player down for San Francisco. Here on the near sideline. Is that Debo? It might be. He is on his back and he's sideways and now surrounded by athletic trainers and I can't see his number. Now they roll him over. It is. He's holding on to his left hamstring. Not good. He had a shoulder issue earlier, but that has... Yeah, he's, I see him holding on to that left hamstring. We're going to update that in a second. 9-10 remaining here in the third quarter. Injury timeout. Niners lead, lead by 7, 10-3, and you're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood 1. Welcome back to Super Bowl 58 here on Westwood 1. Debo Samuels walked across the hobbled across the field to his sideline and holding on to his left hamstring. We'll get to that in one second. If you want to be a better player, a smarter coach, or a more informed fan, I'm all, all of them. Kerr Warner has created the per tool for you. QBconfidential.com. That's QBconfidential.com. Join the team today. So he is the second major injury for the Niners. Drake Greenlaw tore an Achilles, we think. That was the preliminary diagnosis from the Niners. That was in the first half. A huge tight football game like this. Two of your biggest playmakers. One on each side of the ball. 
Now, maybe number 19, Debo Samuel, could come back, but, man, it didn't look good, good on his face, the face of the doctor as they were walking over to that blue, ton or blue tent. Rizhnowski is going to punt for San Francisco inside his 25. The punt will come from left to right. It's a belt high long snap and a right-footed punt. And uh, drifting over to the far sideline with the fair catch. Oh, then he's drilled on the play. I guess he didn't get his arm up. And Conley got Richie James on the far sideline at about the 13-yard line. That ball sailed downfield. The hang time was 4-4-5. The punt was 51 yards. And Conley racing down the sideline. Got that Chiefs deep back man and brought him down in a hurry. Conley was a high draft pick by the Chiefs years ago. He's wow. made a couple <laughs> nice plays on special teams. He, he made has. a nice catch on third down earlier as well. And in a game like this, not a lot of offense. Those hidden yards making that tackle right at the catch can loom large. Very good point. They're going to actually move the ball to the 14 of Kansas City. And Mahomes will be in the gun. He is 13 of 17 for 142. Off his left hip, he's got Pacheco. Shotgun snap, four-man rush. Line drive throw, caught by Kelsey over the shoulder, far sideline 20. He goes to the 24, and he got a first down, lunging his way on that far sideline in front of the San Francisco bench to the 25. It's a gain of 11. First down, Chiefs on a quick throw by the quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. We've seen that on both the last two drives, trying to get 87 involved. Couple quick throws. Again, nothing big down the field, but... Just a good drive starter on first down. His third catch for 21 yards. Mahomes will break huddle. He'll be under center. Looking through that white face mask at four down lineman for San Francisco. First and 10. At his own 25. Snap. He fakes the handoff. He drifts back. He backpedals. Screen pass to Chaco. Broke a tackle at the 20. He's inside the painted numbers to the 25 and out to the Kansas City 28. Brought down to the play by Javon Kinlaw on a gain of three. It'll be second down and seven. That, that play was slow to develop, wasn't it? It was. They've always been a really good screen team. Just trying to set something up, keep this defense off balance. Probably setting up something with the play action to see if they can get another big play like they got in the first half because they're struggling to move the football. Pacheco the back, second and seven. Mahomes in the gun, his own 28. Red jerseys, white pants for the Chiefs. Shotgun snap, hand off Pacheco over the left guard. He spins and he backpedals across the Kansas City 30. He's out to the Kansas City 31. He picks up three, and uh, Kurt, that sets up third and four for the Chiefs, who trail by seven midway through the third. Now, really, all you're trying to do there is pick up a couple because most of the throws, as I keep mentioning, short throws. You don't want to be caught in third and long because you haven't had much success. They've been much better getting the ball out of Patrick Mahomes' hands. Five in the San Francisco secondary, third and four for the Chiefs. They're at their own, just beyond their own 31. McKinnon the back, shotgun snap low, blocked by the right tackle. Mahomes running to the near side, pump fakes at the 25, comes to the near side line, 30. He runs to the 35 in front of his own bench. He may have gotten the first down with his legs. Running to the near side, I think he got it. Yep, he did by the length of a football. On third and four, he picks up five at Kansas City. First down to their 35. How many times have we seen that? Big plays in big moments. Patrick Mahomes making it with his legs. He has actually missed a throw to Rasheed Rice on the right-hand side. It would have been an easy first down, but able to move the chains anyway. First and ten, Edward Gilaire back there. The fake to him, direct snap. It's Mahomes, 35-40, wide open, 45, swerves to the middle, 50, broken tackle. He's by the shield at midfield. He's past the 45 into the 43-yard line of San Francisco. With a knife-like move, breaking a tackle, 43 of the Niners. Mahomes rips one off for 22 on the ground himself. First down. Now, speaking of legs, you don't see it very often, but... The zone read with Patrick Mahomes, the defensive end. Bosa comes screaming down. Man-to-man -man coverage on the back end. Opens like the Red Sea. Huge pickup there for Patrick. 43-yard line of San Francisco. Shotgun formation. Here's the snap and the handoff, and it goes off to Pacheco over the right tackle. Runs to the 40. Picks up three. Brought down by Flanagan Fowles, who's taken the place of the injured Trey Greenlaw. It is an eager gain of two, and second down and eight. For the Chiefs, who trail 10 to 3, under 6 to play, clock ticking third quarter. They got it at the Niner 41. Breaking huddle again. Mahomes bringing his fingertips to his mouth and wetting the 
Tips of his fingers, he's got it at the 41-yard line, second down and eight in the shotgun. Three wide, low snap, drops back, pump fakes once. Here he's pressured, flush from the pocket. On the numbers, chased by Bosa. Enders the uh, pass to the far sideline, throwing it away. Heavily pressured, under duress, messy pocket. It's third and eight on the incompletion, and just getting rid of it because Bosa was just this close to getting him. He was, but missed another throw. Had... Travis Kelsey on the left-hand side just running a five-yard quick out, what we call a stick route. He was open right at the top of the route. Looked as if Patrick was looking at him, but pulled the ball down again and has to throw it away. McKinnon in the back. Mahomes in the gun. 41 to San Francisco. Looks into the nickel. Third down and eight. Low snap. Knee high. Backpedaling. Here's a throw. Caught at the 40-yard line. Got down to the 39. Grabbed in the play by Hardman on the short pass. And a fan has come out on the field and running in his head. The ball was caught and the gain was to the 39. And they have stopped play with security all over the interlopers. And we have stopped play. Two were on the field. 5-19 third quarter. I almost wondered if they were stopping it before fourth the, down before the snap, but I guess not. Bodies come running out from the other end zone. Chiefs are going to go for a field goal here. That means that Harrison Bucker is going to try a long one. This should be about a 57-yard try. Let's see where they final get down and mark the ball. It'll be right off the logo on the grass. Longest field goal attempt in Super Bowl history. We've already had the longest made field goal earlier in this game of 55. This would be the longest attempt at a 57. Harrison Butker on the NFL shield. The snap from Winchester. The hold by Townsend. Harrison Butker. The snap is good. The ball put down. The kick is away. A low line drive. It is good. Got it. That is a 57-yard field goal. The longest in Super Bowl history. And here it comes in Super Bowl 58 to bring the game now to within four. The Chiefs chip into the San Francisco lead. We have 5-0-1 to play here in the third. We've had the two longest field goals in Super Bowl history. Hasn't That's been what, a pretty game, but we're breaking records. <laughs> we're breaking we're records. breaking records with somehow. <laughs> with that field goal, Barbasol will make another donation to Kurt and Brenda Warner's Treasure House. Living community for adults with disabilities. Barbasol, the trusted choice for a close and comfortable shave. Close Shave America, close shave Barbasol. So it's 10 to 6 now. The one time 10 0 lead of the Niners is down to 4 and 5 1 in the third. A 57 yard field goal by the Chiefs. And you are listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. We just had the longest field goal in Super Bowl history by the Chiefs. Harrison Bunker, 57 yards to bring the Chiefs to within four. Bunker is seventh career-made field goal in the Super Bowl. Ties the Hall of Famer Adam Vinatieri and Steven Goskowski for most all time. This is the Chiefs' fourth Super Bowl in five years. His ensuing kickoff is out of the end zone to our left. It'll be a touchback, it'll be at the 25, and now we go live to the field in Mike Golick. Yeah, you guys were talking about Debo Samuel and the hamstring, it was low hammy on the left leg, walked into the blue tent, doctors were in there for just a few seconds and then left and it was stretching, he came out, was looking for his helmet and they took him back in to the blue tent again for a while and he just came out, came over by the offense, put his helmet on, and he is back out on the field. That is huge, isn't it, Kurt? That is huge. We'll keep an eye on it right here. See how he bounces around, but, man, it didn't look good when he went down. Purdy is under center. First and ten at his own 25. Everybody in tie-dye formation of the backfield. Kittle in motion, snap, spin, handoff. It's McCaffrey running over the center and drilled almost at the line. Nothing there. Big time hit Mike Pinnell, who they just brought up before the game. Elevated, no gain. Second down in ten. Our clock is at 4.45 and ticking here in the third. The San Francisco, since they scored the touchdown, they've had eight plays nine yards really nothing going they got the trick play that got him in the end zone but it has been a struggle for this offense as well five in the kansas city secondary second and ten for purdy now he's in the gun he has mccaffrey in motion so five wide empty backfield and from his 25 seconds and shotgun snap goes to purdy belt high left tackle block messy pocket here's a long line drive pass far sideline incomplete for Ayuk. 
with the coverage by Mike Edwards. Adam Drake incomplete. Kurt now third and ten for the Niners. Our clock at 4-17 in the third. Yeah, trying to force it down the field. Wasn't open. He had Debo Samuel on a one-step slant off to the left-hand side. If he just gets the football right now, I don't know if he gets a first down, but he gets close. Instead, he tries to hold it, throws it late down the field. No chance for a completion on that one. And here we go again. Third and ten. Chiefs are going to have now six in the secondary. In the shotgun, Purdy looking through that gray face mask at his own 25, third and 10. Arms outstretched, shotgun formation, right tackle move, back to pass goes Purdy. There's a long line drive down the middle, almost picked off, almost picked off at midfield by the second year cornerback in an all pro, Trent McDuffie. Leaping high, a ricochet off his white gloves, incomplete. Fourth and 10, here comes the San Francisco punting unit. Third straight punt for the Niners. You mentioned All-Pro. Amazingly enough, he does everything, but McNuffie has never had an interception in his career. That was about as close as you can get right there, but playing the inside of the field, knowing that's what San Francisco likes to do. As you've said, Chiefs are hanging around. Wisnowski will punt inside of San Francisco. 15, high snap, pulls it down, right-footed punt. It is sent down the middle. James looking into the lights, makes the basket catch at the 20, on the numbers 25, hit and brought down, right there, grabbed by George Odom, a uh, hang time of 5-1-9, a punt of 55, with our clock at 3.59 here in the third in Super Bowl 58 with a 4.9er lead. Nobody gets you closer to the NFL scouting combine than NFL Network with extensive live coverage from Indianapolis Thursday. February 29th through Sunday, March 3rd. The NFL Scouting Combine is on NFL Network. Patrick Mahomes has been missing some things right in front of him. A little tentative back there throwing the football. Let's see if he gets a little more aggressive, starts to trust those guys around him. Four-man front, 27 to Kansas City. First and 10, shotgun snap, handoff to Checo. Runs over the left guard on the hash to the Kansas City 30. And on the play, he'll pick up three. Brought down to the play by Sebastian Joseph Day. It'll be second down and seven for the Chiefs at their own 30-yard line late third quarter. The formula for the night has just been quick throw, quick throw, quick throw. They've done that about 55% of the time coming into the Super Bowl here in the playoffs. Evolution of their offense has been just get the ball out of Patrick Mahomes' hands very quickly. Niners bring in another defensive back. They got five. Chiefs second down seven. Shotgun snap. Kansas City 30. La pump faking Mahomes. And a little shovel pass ahead. It goes to the crossing tight end. Kelsey, who got it at the 35, was nailed right there. Picks up five. Third and two coming up. Not a lot of space. Not a lot of length. The Chiefs will be at their own, just beyond their own 34. He was looking for... MVS there, Marquez Valdez Scantling, who stopped on the corner route, pulled the ball back, as you said, just found a way to shovel it to Travis Kelsey to set up a third and short. Third down two, McKinnon is in. Chiefs just beyond uh, their own 34. Low snap picked up by Mahomes. Cox is on four man rush here. They're chasing him again. Here comes Bosa, drags at the uh, quarterback who throws a pass wide and incomplete. Even a diving attempt on that far sideline by Richie James. It was almost uncatchable. The pressure was heavy. It was hard, and it was coming from Bosa. And it was great coverage on the back side. There was a bunch formation to the right-hand side, and they're playing man-to-man -man coverage. One of the hardest things is these three receivers go in a bunch of different directions. How do you pass that off? They passed it off perfectly. No separation. Leads to the throwaway there by Mahomes. Tommy Townsend is sent to punt inside the Kansas City 25. The punt will come from our right to our left. It's a knee-high long snap, a right-footed punt. And here is the ball landing in front of Ray Ray McLeod who gets it out of... Oh, he fumbled! He had the ball and he fumbled it at the 17! The Chiefs have recovered! Oh, calamity! A muff! A muff on the play by the deep back man, Ray Ray McLeod of San Francisco. Retrieved at the 16! First and ten, Chiefs. Another turnover in the game. Trying to figure out what he was thinking right I there. I don't know. He's yelling, Peter, 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 but it actually hit the heel of one of his blockers, and that's what he saw. He saw it went off one of his guys' feet. He has to go to try to get it and recover the fumble. Could not secure it. 
Man, just one of those bad breaks for the 49ers. Red zone defense was the key for the Niners today coming in. That was the message, and here they are. They're going to have to defend it. Four on the line with that muff. 16 of San Francisco. Mahomes in the gun, first and 10. The snap, packed his arm, throws end zone. Caught, touchdown! Backpedaling, two-handed grab. Marquez, Valdez, Scantling, and the Chiefs on a 16-yard touchdown pass have taken their first lead in Super Bowl 58. Great play call right there. They just have Marquez, Marquez Valdez Gantling on the outside and he just stems to the inside and nobody is there. Everybody's chasing Travis Kelsey to the outside, wide open, great read throw by Patrick Mahomes and man what a big turnover on special teams here's the Bucker extra point Kansas City's first lead 228 here in the third high snap put down kick up good the Chiefs lead it 13 to 10 a muff by the deep back man for the Niners Ray Ray McLeod gave him first and 10 at the 16 in a red zone touchdown for the Chiefs for the 49ers fans, that fumble, that muff, was definitely a Pepto-Bismol upsetting moment. Pepto-Bismol provides fast, five-system relief from unexpected stomach upsets. Be ready for game day with Pepto-Bismol. Use as directed. Keep out of the reach of children. 2.28 to go in the third quarter. The Chiefs have scored 13 unanswered points. Live to the sideline and Laura Oakman. What a difference a touchdown makes. But here's what I want to say right before that series. We were on the Chiefs sideline, and I'm going to continue what Golik was talking about. No energy, but I learned this a long time ago. Very young reporter covering the Patriots, watching them down in the second half and saying they have no juice. And the reporter next to me with the Patriots smiled at me, and I got what he was saying. Sometimes is it lack of juice or championship poise? And that's what I think Mike and I have both been trying to figure out on the sideline with a low for this first half. But, boy, that just electrified the sideline. Electrified is a perfect word. 13 unanswered points by the Chiefs, who trailed 10 to nothing at halftime. The kickoff by Kansas City. It goes to our left. It's over the scarlet-painted end zone. Touchback to the 25. And now Brock Purdy and this offense are trailing for the first time and they've got it first and ten with two and a half to play in the third that's a laura's point poiser panic doesn't it just depend on how this thing plays out if it plays out in your favor it's like oh we were just poised we were just biding our time until the opportunity but what an unfortunate play on special teams just happened to hit the ankle of one of their guys and turns the football over. First and 10, I formation, pretty under center. Is San Francisco 25, the snap, the fake handoff, the fight, step drop, and a wobbly ball. I think it was deflected at the line. It's an incomplete wobbly throw, short, incomplete, and second 10 for the Niners, and down is Feliciano. John Feliciano, who is a starting guard for this team, is holding on to his elbow, and he is down. He starts at one of the guards, playing the right guard today. Another Niner injury. We've seen one. By the way, that was Karloftis, who I think who got his hand on it, right, Kurt? On that defensive line for the Chiefs, who made yeah. that ball wobble. Yeah, it looked like he was there, and he actually ran into Feliciano on the other side as he was running through there and knocking that football down, and there was contact up high. Not sure what the injury is here, but looked like I thought he was holding on to his elbow. We're going to take a break. The Chiefs have scored 13 unanswered. They lead by three. We're late in the third. Time out on the field, and you're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. We're back at Super Bowl 58. Feliciano walked off under his own power. He'll be replaced now by Spencer Burford. Copyrighted tonight's broadcast to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One is owned by the National Football League on behalf of its member clubs. All rights to this broadcast are reserved in any rebroadcast, recording, retransmission, or any other use of this broadcast without the express written permission of the NFL is strictly prohibited. They are putting Feliciano, their starting guard today in the Super Bowl, under the blue tent for examination. 
Second half yards, San Francisco three, the Chiefs 90. Here is a second down and 10, 223 in the third. From their own 25, Purdy is under center. The snap, he turns, and he hands off. And it's McCaffrey running over the left guard, pounding his way, and gets out to the 30-yard line. Hard-earned gain of five over the left guard. Let's give him a little more than five on that play, nearing six. And setting up third down, they're just outside the nine or 30. LSU's Chiefs defense carried them all year long. They struggled early in this game. San Francisco was having their way, but they've really settled in. Done a great job, as you just mentioned. Chiefs have six in the secondary, third down, five. Purdy is in the gun. He moves McCaffrey out of the backfield, so five wide. Four in the Chiefs' defensive line. Third and five, outside the 30 of the Niners, and we've got a timeout taken. First charge timeout. San Francisco. Yeah, the Niners have two left. The Chiefs have two left. Their clock at 140, wide to the sideline, Mike Golick. John Feliciano in the blue tent, as you mentioned, Kevin, and not, not like he's getting looked at. What's happening is they're rapidly putting a brace on his elbow. An offensive lineman, they don't really come out of games or stay out of games. No. They just go in, get taped up, get fixed up. In this case, brace on his right elbow, and I'll let you know when he gets out. Mike, they just uh, tape him up and send him right back out That's there, it. don't they? Yes, they do. <laughs> Oh my, this is a Super Bowl after all, right? You don't want to miss Kurt any snap at all. Quarterbacks are like that, too. Just oh, are they? tape us are, are up they? and we now play. That's interesting. It's not oh. just offensive linemen. Huh. Yeah, blah, blah, uh -huh. blah. Come uh -huh. on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was 10 nothing at halftime. The Niners were on top, and the Chiefs have come out with a lot of points. Actually, it was 10-3 to three at halftime with the Niners leading by 7. And the Chiefs have come out with a Super Bowl record 57 yard field goal and a 16 yard touchdown pass on a muff. Now, third and five, nine or 30, shotgun snap to Purdy, line drive throw on a four man rush. He gets it outside to Jennings, broke a tackle on the near sideline 40. Broke another goal and dances to the 45. He's got a first down for San Francisco, up to the San Francisco 46. Right in front of Andy Reid, right below us, in front of the Chiefs bench, first and 10 Niners. Jennings is like the fifth option for Brock Purdy. But he is so good because he creates a matchup. You got to go against the fourth, fifth DB for the Chiefs. Set him up on a one on one choice route. So good. Sets the DB up inside, breaks to the outside for the first down. It's first down and 10 on the NFL Shield. 47 yard line of San Francisco. Niners first and 10. There's a shotgun snap and a lateral field caught by Samuel. 45 far sideline. 50 works on the far sideline down to the Kansas City. 45 and a gain of eight, maybe a little bit more. He got. Just inside the Chiefs 45, a catch and run to the ever dangerous Debo Samuel picking up eight. And currently, we have 40 seconds, clock ticking in the third. <laughs> sure didn't look like he was hindered by that hamstring uh -oh. at all. Puts that foot in the ground, goes and picks up some nice yards, and makes it easy on the quarterback who's been struggling since he started out eight for nine. Hasn't really got anything going. Couple quick throws, maybe he's back into it. Now he's got an eye formation inside the Kansas City 45. Purdy looks at a four man front. Second down, one handoff, use check, the fullback. The first man through over the guard, swerves outside the hash, plows his way for a first down to the Chiefs, 42, to get a first down for the Niners. That will be the final play of the third quarter. But the Chiefs have scored 13 unanswered points. And in the second half, their touchdown, a 16-yard pass to Valdez Scantling, the former Packer from Mahomes. The Chiefs lead. Let's go to the fourth quarter. It's 13-10 Kansas City. Welcome back to Super Bowl 58 here on Westwood One with Kurt Warner, Mike Golick, Laura Oakman, and Dean Blandino, Kevin Harlan here in Las Vegas. We start the fourth quarter. Chiefs have scored 13 unanswered, leading at 13-10 over the Niners. Start of the fourth quarter, sponsored by Robin Hood Gold. Learn how Robin Hood Gold could get you the most for your retirement. Fees and restrictions apply. Visit robinhood.com slash boost. All right, Kurt, we're three quarters in. What do you think so far? Well, I mean, it's obviously been more of a defensive battle than anything. And not that we're necessarily surprised with that, but it's just the 49ers dominating the first half, not getting points on the board. You just knew it was a matter of time or one mistake. That mistake on special teams, which, again, was unfortunate. Nobody's fault there uh, coming and bouncing off the ankle of the blocker. 
but it was all that the Chiefs needed to set them up in the red zone and get the one touchdown to give them the lead. Something tells me we got fireworks ahead here in the fourth. First and ten. Chiefs 42 for the Niners. Purdy is in the gun. Four in the defensive line. Snap right there. They come charging. Winding up. Purdy throws down the middle clock. Belt high at the 25. Ayuk then drives on that hash mark down to the Kansas City 22-21. Caught it. Beautiful throw. 20-yard gain. First down San Francisco at the Chiefs 22. Really good route there by Brandon Ayuk. He is such a good route runner. Stems to the outside as if he's going to run a corner and at the top. Just crosses the DB's face running the big in route and again. Looking for a big play. Where are they going to go? In by the hashes. It's what the 49ers offense and pass game is all about. 22 of the Chiefs. San Francisco first and 10. Under center is Purdy. Single back McCaffrey. Use check in motion. The snap, the spin, the fake handoff. He rolls, sets, throws long, far sideline, end zone incomplete for Samuel. And the coverage on the play by Legereus Need. Down the far sideline, aiming for the far corner in the back. Second down, 10 San Francisco. Oh, missed opportunity right there yeah. off of the fake stretch. Oh. And all the Kansas City Chiefs are coming up to stop the run. Debo slips back behind him. He's got five yards on Sneed. A little bit of pressure in Bur Purdy's face, and we couldn't finish the throw and overthrows what would have been an easy touchdown. Miners line up again on the Kansas City 22, trailing by three. Early fourth quarter, Purdy under center. Second 10 snap in the pitch up. It's McCaffrey, a block by Williams, 20, near sideline 15. Grabbed from behind, ridden down by Mike Edwards, and taken down on the near sideline to the Kansas City 14-yard line. Good-looking run of eight. Setting up third down and two. Kurt, the Chiefs this postseason have allowed just 10 points in the three games in the, in the second half. I mean, it's been an amazing run defensively. Well, they've done a great job on third down. This is a huge one right here, a third and short. San Francisco only two of eight on the night. But, man, they'd love to be able to convert this and try to turn this into six. First red zone snap tonight for the Niners. 14 of the Chiefs, third and two. It's a handoff. Purdy, he gets it out to McCaffrey. Trying to run laterally. Down he goes. Mike Pennell got him. Karloftis got him. Chanel had a hand on him. They lose a yard. Fourth and three. Fourth and three for the Niners. A field goal would tie. 13-09. Fourth quarter clock is ticking. And the Niners are thinking it over. Fourth and three at the Chiefs. 15, what would you do? I got to believe they're just going to try to draw them off sides. You've got to take the points here and tie this thing up the way this game is going. Wow, huge play right here if they snap it. 15 of the Chiefs in the shotgun Purdy. Four wide, four in the line. Shotgun snap, fourth and three. Line drive throw, caught by Kittle. Far sideline, dives. I think he got the first down. He did on the far sideline, lunging two-hand hip high catch. To the 12 of the Chiefs, far sideline, laser thrown by Purdy. Gain of three, first and 10 at the 12 for San Francisco, deep in Chiefs territory. Well, this is the play that they've run on third down numerous times. It's the choice route. They've picked their poison with different guys. We saw Jennings earlier on the drive. There it's with Kittle. He wins and just reaches enough to get past the sticks. Everybody in tied outside the Kansas City 11. San Francisco first and 10. Purdy under center. He gets the snap and turns. Hands McCaffrey over the left tackle. Got to the 10. Hit right there. Brought down by Tershawn Morton on that line. Gain of a yard. Second down nine for the Niners. Three minutes gone in the fourth and the Chiefs lead by three. Man, what a huge decision to go for it on fourth down. Big play. I, I would not have done that. that. I'm, I'm tying it up in the Super Bowl and leaning on my defense. They've been good all night long, but hey, maybe that's the play that changes this thing up. Go for it. You got the first down on the 10-yard line, but you mentioned it. The Chiefs have been good in this area of the field all year long. It's second down nine at the 10. Purdy is in the gun for the Niners. Four-man front for the Chiefs. McCaffrey off his left hip. Low shotgun snap. Line fly throw. Caught at the five. Between the hash mark. Breaking the tackle. Jennings. Goal line. Twisting. Touchdown. San Francisco. The Niners have recaptured the lead in the fourth quarter in Super Bowl 58. A 10-yard touchdown pass.
Jennings earlier on had the first non-quarterback throwing touchdown pass in Super Bowl history there. He catches one and takes it in. Here is the extra point. 11.22 to go in the fourth quarter. Ball put down and the ball was blocked. It ricochets to the side. It's down at the 15 and a block extra point and the Chiefs still trail by now just three. So Jennings has had a throwing touchdown and a catching touchdown. And the first non-quarterback to ever do that in Super Bowl history. That was a beauty. But the extra point by Moody was blocked inside and it was hard to see by whom. And I think it was by Leo Chanel. All right, clock at 11.22. Niners lead by three. This is Westwood One's coverage. Welcome back to the fourth of quarter of Super Bowl 58 with the Niners scoring a touchdown, now leading by three. Let's check the drive summary sponsored by Solo Stove. Win game day with Solo Stove with their all-new Pie Prime Pizza Oven. You cook artisan pizzas in 90 seconds or huddle the crew around a solo stove bonfire and feel the heat of the world's most popular smokeless fire pit. Solostove.com. 10-yard touchdown pass to Jennings. The PAT was blocked. The last PAT blocked in the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 18. <laughs> Here's the kickoff by the Niners. End over end out of the end zone. Five yards deep right down the middle. Touch back to the 25. Chiefs will take over. Super Bowl 58 MVP voting has officially started. Go to NFL.com slash MVP on your mobile device and vote now. How big do you think that block extra point by Chanel of the Chiefs inside was? It makes it still a three-point game. It's a first and ten for the Chiefs who again trail now by three at their own 25. Low shotgun snap to Mahomes. Drops back seven. Line drive thrown down the middle. Caught. It's Kelsey at the 40. Caught it in stride. Tackled at the 41 of the Chiefs on the far side outside the painted numbers. It's a first down. A catch of 16. Immediately tackled. And the Chiefs move the chains. They've been trying to get that corner route all night long. But San Francisco's been in zone. Fred Warner's done a nice job of falling into that zone and reading Kelsey. There they get man to man. He's able to win the one-on-one -on -one battle for the big play. Kelsey tonight. Five catches, 42 yards. Mahomes in the gun. First and 10 is Kansas City 41. Moving left to right. Low snap around his shin. He gets the handoff and Bosa then makes a great tackle with Oren Burks and Armstead. It was a handoff to Pacheco and he could only get uh, an inch or two. Nothing more. We'll call it now second down and 10 for the Chiefs. And the clock here in the fourth is at 10-27 and the Niners holding on to a three-point lead. You mentioned the MVP voting starting i know you had on your bingo card juan jennings i did <laughs> but man he seems to be the front runner in the clubhouse right now second down 10 mahomes in the gun his own kansas city 41 at his side pacheco the snap the wire is a uh, belt high and he throws a quick pass to the near side to rice incomplete covered in the play by logan ryan he's a veteran of big games in the nfl namely with the patriots played for the titans incomplete pass it's third down and 10 going for Rashi Rice, who's been kind of quiet today for the Chiefs. He was, and he was open there to the outside. Would have been a nice play, but he beat Ryan so bad that Ryan was underneath him, and Patrick had to try to throw the ball around him, maybe lay it up in the air, let Rice run under it for a big play. Five in the secondary, 41 to Kansas City. McKinnon is the bat. Shotgun formation for Mahomes, third down 10. There's the low snap. It's below his knee. Gets it. He winds up. It goes down the middle. Wobbly pass. It's caught at the 50. A belt high catch made by Kelsey and tackled by Warner at about the 47 for a first down. 47 of San Francisco. Good looking catch. 13 yard pickup right on the money. Kelsey's been big on this drive. Great read there by Patrick Mahomes. They had a high low on Fred Warner. Fred Warner decided to go with the deep throw down the field. Travis Kelsey breaks underneath him and right before the pressure gets there. Patrick Mahomes lets it go for the first down. A couple big plays here by Kelsey, who's been quiet today. 9.29, clock ticking, fourth quarter. San Francisco leads by three. 
Mahomes in the gun, 46-yard line of the Niners. Four in the defensive front. Low snap. It's a low snap. He picks it up off the logo. He cocks his arm, throws a wobbly pass wildly down the middle and incomplete. Incomplete with a messy pocket under duress. And an all-pro center in Creed Humphrey is the one who snapped it, but it went off the turf, off the painted logo at midfield. Oh, it's always hard to question Patrick Mahomes because he's made so many of these plays, but holy cow, ball hits the ground. I thought he was just looking for a place to throw it away and flips it down the middle of the field, and that's dangerous. <laughs> Mahomes in the logo at the 46. Of San Francisco, second and ten. Good blocking. Line five throw. Far side. Over the shoulder catch. Far sideline made by Watson. Runs out of bounds. Hit on the play by Brown. The catch made at about the 25-yard line of San Francisco. It was a beautiful throw. A pickup of 25 yards. And mark him down at the 21-yard line of the Niners. First and ten Chiefs. Really well done. Good play call. San Francisco goes back to a cover two. They run somebody to the flat. And then Watson over the top. On the corner route, they get the cornerback to jump on the flat. Big hole right there. And amazing. They've struggled all game, and now they're rolling offensively. First and 10, 21-yard line of San Francisco with the four-man front. Mahomes in the gun. Down by three. Pitch out Pacheco. Far side, 25. Got a block on the numbers. 20. Broke a tackle, 15. Far side line. He's down to the San Francisco 12. Boy, he was a one-man battering ram outside, picking up nine, bringing up second down and about a yard to go at the San Francisco 13. The clock is at 8:19 and ticking. Niners lead by three. What a great run on the toss! He's going outside and he stops and hesitates. He takes a little step back to the inside to set up his blocks. Bounces back to the outside, finds a hole, picks up nine. High formation. Second down one. Chiefs at the 12 of San Francisco. Mahomes under center. Four-man front. Snap. Spin. Hand off. Pacheco. Tries over the guard. The 10. The 5. Outside the hash. He's down to the 4. First down Kansas City. A burst of 8. First and goal to go. The Chiefs at the 4 of the 49ers. I tell you what. This is what championships teams do. It has been ugly all day. San Francisco gets a fourth down, scores the first touchdown against your defense in the po postseason fourth quarter, all postseason long. And what do you do? You take the football, you drive it down their throats, you put it inside the five. Now you got to finish. Here they go, first and goal to go at the four. Mahomes in the gun, everybody in tight. Four on the line, shotgun snap, handoff. Pacheco gets a block, cuts from left to right on the hash to the three. On a gain of a yard, hit by Warner. It's a gain of one. It's second goal from the three for the Chiefs. The clock is approaching seven and ticking here in the fourth quarter. Seven minutes and ticking with the Niners leading by three. He asked how big that block extra point is. Huge. I mean, right now you're saying it's a given that it's a tie at this point. Instead of maybe forcing Kansas City to think about going for it if they don't get into the end zone. By third down. Second down, goal at the three, shotgun snap, four-man rush. Mahomes cocks his arm, left tackle block, drifting, breaks a tackle. Here he is on the near side, throwing sidearm end zone, incomplete, broken up. Broken up by Demetrius Flanagan Fowles, who is taking the place of the injured Trey Greenlaw with a dive on the near sideline with a pass, zeroing in on the end zone, incomplete. But they're trying to get Pacheco out in the flat here. Bosa falls off and bangs him, and he's the one almost makes the sack on Patrick Mahomes, but just a really good job on the back end of staying home in your position, not letting somebody sneak in behind you. Five wide, Mahomes in the gun by himself at the three. Third down and goal, five on the line. Here's a shotgun snap low. He cuts his arm, he backpedals further. He's pressured, he runs to the near side. He cuts inside the 10 and taken down at the six. Losing yards. Hargrave got him. Brings down the Kansas City quarterback with the clock ticking at 619. It's a, a three-point San Francisco lead, and the Chiefs are not going to play around at all here. Fourth and goal. The field goal unit is on there to try to tie Super Bowl 58 with under six to play in regulation. Well, and that's where that extra point. If they're down four at this point, do they push the envelope? Do they go for it on four down? Doesn't really matter at this point. Smart decision, I think, by Andy Reid. Championship team tie this game up with six minutes to go. There's the snap. Ball put down. The right-footed kick is up, and Super Bowl 58 is tied. 
tied at 16. First tie with a couple of lead changes in this baby. 5.46 to play in regulation. The Niners 16, the Chiefs 16. What a game here in Las Vegas. Butker has the most career-made field goals now in a Super Bowl. He has eight. He has passed Vinatieri and Guskowski, both Patriots. And, of course, Vinatieri kicked as well with the Colts. 5.46 to go, 16-16. The Niners, the Chiefs. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. Welcome back to the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas, and just as we had hoped, we are tied at 16-16 with 5.46 to go. We've gone back and forth. It was 10-0 San Francisco. Chiefs scored 13 unanswered points. Niners have come back, and we had an extra point block, which allowed the Chiefs to tie it right there. Kurt Warner at 16 apiece, and now the Chiefs are going to kick off from left to right. After the 24-yard field goal, here comes Butker, who earlier had a Super Bowl record 57-yarder. And this kickoff is out of the end zone. Painted gold to our right, and a touchback for Brock Purdy to the 25 with the first and 10. With a reminder now at Macy's, find great deals on Valentine's Day gifts. Like fine jewelry, designer fragrance gift sets, and even Godiva chocolates. Plus, get your gifts even faster when you pick up in-store now at Macy's. So here are the Niners in two timeouts. They're tied at 16. They begin at first and 10 at their 25. What must be going through the mind of second-year quarterback Brock Purdy? Mm. He's in the gun. He looks at a four-man front. It's first and 10 at his own 25. Arms extended, shotgun snap, goes back three. Line drive, throw down the middle, caught. Jennings breaks a tackle on a spinning two-handed catch at the 45, and he goes outside the hash to the 48-yard line of San Francisco. It's a pickup of 23, and Jawan Jennings is setting the stage for some kind of memorable game in the biggest game of his life. This is how legends are made. Mr. Irrelevant, six minutes to go, tied up against one of the greatest quarterbacks ever. Can you finish this thing, or does it come down to the guy on the other side winning his third Super Bowl. Jennings has thrown a touchdown pass as a wide receiver, and he's also caught a touchdown pass and had a clutch 23-yard reception right there. Under center, Purdy at his own 48 with the first and 10, the fake handoff, and it's a pitch out to Samuel. End around, got a block at the 50, got a block at the 45, breaks a tackle, going to the far sideline, and down to the Kansas City 42. Moving well, gain of 10, gets the first down. And they'll mark it at the Kansas City 42 in our fourth quarter clock. Is it 441, 440, 439 and ticking. Tight game at 16. Now Shanahan pulling out all the stops to win this one. You got the wide receiver throwback screen that gets you a touchdown. Here we are in the last drive going with the reverse to Debo Samuel. You pull out all the stops knowing this is the last one on the board this year. George Karloft is on that line, a very important player is down for the Chiefs. They're looking at his hand. There's an injury timeout at 429 of the fourth. This gives us a chance now to pause 10 seconds for our stations all across North America to identify themselves coast to coast and around the world. This is Westwood One, your home for Super Bowl 58. Has this been a great fourth quarter, Kurt Warner, or what? Look at, at four and a half minutes to go, tied at 16. Second year quarterback leading the NFC champion Niners. We couldn't ask for anything more as Karloff just runs off the field. I think he has a dislocated finger. They kind of tried to pop it in. He's out of the game right now. They're going to look at him on the sideline. Yeah, it hasn't been pretty all the way throughout, but this is what you asked for. Four and a half to go, 16-16. Game on the line. Who's going to step up? and have their big moment. Malik Herring has taken his place. Second down and one. Purdy is under center. Seven yards and back ahead McCaffrey from the Kansas City 42. Looks at a four-man front. Receiver in motion, snap, spin, hand up. McCaffrey, he stutter steps, goes over the center. He crosses the Kansas City 40 and with ease, he slices his way for three and gets a San Francisco first down. Now listen, there's no urgency with the Niners. Uh, the clock is ticking with 354. We're tied at 16, and they are taking their sweet time here, aren't they? They are. Use the clock. They're at about a 57-yard field goal right here. Moody already hit a 55-yarder earlier in the game, so you're feeling pretty good. Keep using that clock. 
Under center is Purdy, everybody in tight. McCaffrey the lone back, 40 at Kansas City. Use check is in motion. Five in the secondary for the Chiefs. Niners have it first and ten, letting that play clock go down. There's the snap, the pitch out. McCaffrey left side, the block by the tackle, the 40. And dives ahead to the Kansas City 35 and brought down by Mike Dana. The clock is at 316 and ticking. We are tied at 16 in Super Bowl 58 in the fourth quarter with Kurt Warner, Dean Blandino, Kevin Harlan from the Granger Broadcast booth here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Draw up a winning play with Granger, offering supplies and solutions for every industry. Granger will help your business cross the goal line. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. The Niners break huddle. They have a second down and five at the Kansas City 35. The clock is now at 2.47. Two timeouts apiece. Purdy under center. Gets the snap. Fakes the handoff. Chased by Bolton. Throws a wild pass. Caught by Kittle. 35. Far sideline. Brought down immediately by uh, Trent McDuffie. So there's no gain and it's third and five. And the clock continues to tick. In fact, didn't go all the way down to the two-minute warning, which I think they're going to let it go as they've got a couple second lead there on the play clock. Yeah, well, that was a gutsy call right there. It wasn't a... A, a big throw, throw downfield, but the naked bootleg pressure in your face. You can't have an incompletion right there. Good throw. Didn't gain any yards, but you kept the clock going. Here they go. From the 35 of Kansas City, San Francisco, third down four. Purdy is in the gun. Four-man front. Jennings in motion. Arms extended, and we're down to the two-minute warning. And while we say all of this, the rookie out of Michigan, the field goal kicker for the Niners, Jake Moody, is pacing up and down the far sideline with practice kicks into the net, setting up an important play. Coming up, we tied 16-16, Niners and Chiefs. The two-minute warning. Let's step aside. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. Two-minute warning, two timeouts apiece, tied at 16. Here it is, Kurt, a third and five for the Niners at the 35 of the Chiefs. Well, a huge chess move right here. You drop back and throw it. You get a first down. You force Kansas City to burn their timeouts, run the clock down even farther, make it tough on Patrick Mahomes, or do you play it safe, hand the football off, allow Kansas City to call the timeout, keep one in their back pocket, and force a kick if you can't break it for the first down. Not a single soul is sitting. Two minute warning. Third down, and now four inside the 35 of the Chiefs. The Niners have the ball. We are tied at 16 in Super Bowl 58. In the gun is Purdy, wiping his hands on the white towel off his belt buckle. The Chiefs have five on the line. Third and four, shotgun snap. Quick line drive throw as he's hit incomplete. Oh, he was drilled. He was absolutely crushed. Crushed by McDuffie. Crushed by McDuffie coming off the edge. It forces fourth and four. Here comes the rookie kicker out of Michigan for the 49ers to try to break the tie with 157 to go in Great. Super Bowl 58. Critical situation. Bring the pressure. Free hitter with McDuffie coming off the edge. Could not throw the ball around him. Stops the clock. Forces a long field goal. Here we go. We're indoors. No wind or elements to deal with. It is a 53-yard field goal for the lead with 157 to go in Super Bowl 58. The snap. Good. The put down. Good. The right-footed kick is up, and it is perfect. San Francisco has taken the lead in Super Bowl 58 with 153 to go. On a 53-yard field goal, 19-16 Niners. And Patrick Mahomes readies himself and his offense on the Chiefs sideline with 1.53 left in regulation. A reminder to stay tuned for the Super Bowl 58 postgame show on Westwood One and sponsored by Bosch Knight Performance Wiper Blades. Posh Night Performance Wiper Blades reduce blur and glare to help you see on stormy nights. Find them at auto retailers near you. Night Vision has evolved. We'll have the Lombardi Trophy presentation. We'll have post game reaction from both teams. Plus live highlights and analysis from our crew with reporters on the field live. Coming up after the game. 53-yard field goal. The big play, a 23-yard pass. 
to Jennings to get it into Chiefs territory. Well, we're going to look back at that fourth down or that third down play. How does that play out? You keep Kansas City with two timeouts. You don't run the clock down. 153, only needing a field goal for Patrick Mahomes. It's going to be fun. That kickoff by San Francisco after the game leading 53 yard field goals out of the end zone. So here comes Mahomes. And he is ready to go. He's got 153 with which to work in two timeouts. You know what? That is forever in his book. It is forever. You don't have to panic. You don't have to push the ball down the field. Get completions. Keep things moving. No panic needed right here. Two minutes is a long, long time. Isaiah Pacheco's in the backfield with Mahomes. 25-yard line of the defense in the gun. First and 10 shotgun snap. Quick line right though, caught by Kelsey 30. Inside the numbers to the Kansas City 35. And taken down right there. They quickly assemble at the line. He's very close to a first down. Let's see if, if they move the chains. They don't. Gain a nine. Second down one. Shy of the 35. The shotgun snap to Mahomes. He looks around, runs to the near side, running to the sideline, 35, and now he's got it. On that second down and one, he does race for the first down, and it's a first and ten. At the Kansas City 37, he runs into his own bench, coming to the near side, Chiefs 37, clock at 132, Chiefs trail by three. Bring pressure from the left-hand side, Patrick sees it and just bails out to the right, picking up the first down, and let's just note, that Butker hit a 69-yarder in warm-ups on this field, so they don't have much larger to go just to get at least a good attempt. Chiefs 37, first and 10, shotgun snap to Mahomes, drifting back, throws a pass, it's caught at the 40-yard line by the tight end, that's Gray, he spins up field, goes by the 45 of Kansas City on the numbers to the Kansas City 49, it's another first down, they pick up 12 on that first down toss at their own 49, first and 10, no huddle, two timeouts, clock at 113, shotgun snap, pass far side, caught with a leaping two-handed grab, helmet high by Watson at the 43-yard line, outside the painted numbers in San Francisco territory, it's a gain of eight, it's second down and two, the clock is crossed a minute, 58 seconds remaining in Super Bowl 58 in regulation, second down and two, 43 of San Francisco, shotgun snap, Mahomes back, winds up, long pass, far side incomplete, over the hand of Watson, uncatchable, down the far sideline, into the San Francisco bench, at the San Francisco, 33, incomplete, third and two for the Chiefs. Third and two, and you're saying to yourself, we got to get a first down. Get a first down, not only are we in field goal range, which we might already be, get that first down, and we got to force San Francisco to use those timeouts before we kick. McKinnon is coming as the running back. Four wide. Mahomes in the gun. Third and two. Big play right here at the 43 of San Francisco. Mahomes pointing out his protections. Four man front. But they're going to rush five. Maybe six. The shotgun snap. They do rush six. He dumps it off to McKinnon. 45. Near side. Got a block at the 40. On the numbers he goes down to the 37. Twisting right there. He's down to the 37 yard line of San Francisco. He picks up a first down on third and two. The short pass to the near sideline. Picks up six. Timeout taken. Timeout taken. The clock at 39 seconds in regulation with the Chiefs trailing by three in Super Bowl 58. They're at the 36 of the 49ers. Well, now it's the chess match. What do you do at this point? Do you play for overtime? Do you play for three? Do you stay aggressive and attack down the field? What are Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes going to do here? Harrison Butker, the Chiefs field goal man, is warming up on the sideline. And today, he has kicked field goals of 28, 24, and 57 yards. The longest field goal in Super Bowl history. Warming up on the sideline. First and 10. 40 seconds to play in regulation. 49ers lead the Chiefs 19 to 16. The ball's at the 36 of San Francisco. The Chiefs are huddling right now, and now they break it. Well, I can say, Kevin, Super Bowl. I'm the quarterback. Let's go win this thing. He has five wide with the first and ten in the shotgun. A four-man front, five in the Niners secondary. Low shotgun snap, blocked by the left tackle. Mahomes runs up the middle. He crosses the 35 between the hash marks and is dragged down at the 34 of San Francisco. A pickup of three, second down and seven. Clock is ticking, 26, 25. The Chiefs line up at the 33 of San Francisco. Second down and seven. Shotgun snap Mahomes. Crumbling pocket throws it wildly out of bounds to the near side. 
incomplete pass. Third and seven for the Chiefs. 16 seconds in regulation. Niners lead by three. The Chiefs are at the San Francisco 33. Got to say, didn't like the decision by Patrick Mahomes on first down to take off and run. He saw an opening and wanted to try to squeeze through it. I know he's made big plays, but that is a big chance to take. Doesn't get through there, gets sacked, uses a whole bunch of time off the clock. Third down seven, 33 of San Francisco. McKinn in the back, shotgun snap to Mahomes. Drops back, left tackle ball, goes to Kelsey, 30. Runs far side, 25, 20, sideline 15. Knocked out of bounds at the 12. Knocked out of bounds at the San Francisco 12. Catch and run, Kelsey. 23 yards and a player down for the Niners on the far sideline. Travis Kelsey comes up with one of the biggest plays for the Chiefs with nine seconds left in regulation. Set it up perfectly. You caught man to man. You got a bunch formation to the right and you sneak Kelsey all the way across the field on the shallow route. The guy covering him, man, has to go over all the bodies in there. Perfect play call, played out perfectly. You get out of bounds on the 10 yard line with a couple shots to get it into the end zone. Player down, far sideline, San Francisco rookie who had a pick in early in the game, Jair Brown. They're looking at him, play is stopped, nine seconds to go. Chiefs trail by three, but they've got the ball. First down and 10 at the 11. Kelsey has caught it eight times for 86 yards. With that reception, the most career receptions by a tight end in Super Bowl history, breaking the record of Rob Gronkowski. Timeouts, the Chiefs have won, the Niners lose one, so they only have one left. And there's actually a couple different options here, Kevin, that I know you say to yourself, okay, we're on the 11, we got to throw two into the end zone, but you really don't have to. You can throw one shorter if something's open. You got one timeout in your back pocket, and then on the next down, you got to throw it into the end zone because you can't stop it for the field goal. So, a couple different options here. Don't have to force it down the field, but the ball has to come out quick. Ten seconds. They just put a second back on the clock. Chiefs have the ball at the 11. McKinnon in the back. Quarterback. Patrick Mahomes in the gun, four-man front, looks into the nickel, low shotgun snap, picks it up off the ground, puts a pass to the goal line, broken up far side at the pylon, incomplete. Looking for Kelsey, covered by Fred Warner. That's terrific player against terrific player. It's incomplete, there are six seconds left, and out trucks the kicker, Harrison Bucker, with a chance to tie Super Bowl 58 with six seconds left in regulation. He is 5 of 5 on career postseason field goals when tied or trailing by 3. This will be a 29-yarder to tie Super Bowl 58. On the grass, no wind, we're inside. Butker, the snap is good, the kick is up, the kick is perfect, and we are tied. We are tied with 3 seconds left in Super Bowl 58. 19 to 19. What a drive by Mahomes and the Chiefs to get deep in San Francisco territory and tie this game. <laughs> what a great drive. These last couple drives by Kansas City, they put it together. This is what championship medal is all about. When you need it, you make the plays. We saw it right there. Gave themselves even a chance to win this thing. But well done by the Kansas City Chiefs, Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, and company these last couple drives. Dean Blandino, did you see much contact there with Warner and Kelsey at the pylon on that previous pass? I thought it was a good no call. There was contact on both sides. Both players initiating contact, and the officials did a good job. No restriction either way. A good non-call there. Dean Blandino, thank you. Butker has tied the most field goals made by one player in a... Super Bowl. He's kicked a 28 yarder, a Super Bowl record 57 yarder from 24 and 29. And that 29 yarder just tied up Super Bowl 58. I think the crowd is in disbelief. And we said going to the fourth, we were going to see fireworks, and man, have we. Kickoff, Butker, Chiefs out of the end zone to our right. It will be at the 25 and a touchback for the Niners and three seconds remaining in regulation. 
it looks like we're going to overtime. <laughs> it sure does. Mm -mm. Man, not a very well-played game for the most part, but, man, down the stretch, both teams have done exactly what they need to do offensively to give themselves a chance in overtime. Well, how big is that block extra point coming up now is the Niners are going to crowd around their quarterback on a first and 10 from the 25. The clock will go to zero. It expires. And we are smack dab in the middle of overtime here in the Super Bowl. This is the second Super Bowl to go to overtime. We're here tied at 19 apiece. Remember, Super Bowl 51, the Patriots who trailed 28 to 3 and came back to beat Atlanta in overtime, 34 28. Dean Blandino, let's uh, walk through this overtime process. So the rule changed now. Both teams must have an opportunity to possess the football. So even if the team getting the football to start goes down and scores a touchdown, the other team would have an opportunity to possess the football. A field goal doesn't end it on the first possession. The only thing that would end it on the first possession would be a defensive score. Dean, thank you very much. They will go to midfield, and they will go over the rules with our referee, Bill Vinovich, his third Super Bowl as the referee. As uh, Mahomes will represent the Chiefs, Warner, the Niners. Great job, gentlemen. We're going to play overtime. Uh, playoff overtime, we're going to start a new game. All replays are upstairs. Everybody will have three timeouts. All right? Both teams will have an opportunity to score or opportunity to possess unless the first team is less of the defensive score. All right, any questions? San Francisco, you are still the visitors. What is your call? Tails again. He called tails again. It is tails. You want the ball, which way do you want to kick? San Francisco received first in overtime. Good luck, gentlemen. Here we go, tied at 19. That's the end of the fourth quarter. Overtime is upon us for just the second time in Super Bowl history. Let's step aside. You're listening to Super Bowl 58 on Westwood One. 19-19, we're going to start overtime, and the Niners, who won the flip, have elected Kurt to take the ball first. <laughs> which, which surprises me after Dean just told us the new rules, that I almost think like you would want to defer and see what happens with the other team so you know exactly what you have to do. You take the ball, you don't score, you hand it back. The other team knows exactly what they have to do to win the football game. Chiefs have got the ball teed up at their own 35. The defending champion Chiefs, trying to make it two in a row, have come back all game long. At one time, they trailed 10-0, scored 13 straight, back and forth went, and finally hitting a 29-yard field goal with just seconds left to tie it again at 19. Butker, who just tied it with a 29-yard field goal, will kick off from right for the Chiefs. It's out of the end zone to our left. It'll be a touchback, and the Niners will start at first and 10 at their own 25. So Brock Purdy, 19 to 32, 205 and a touchdown pass. Mahomes, 26 to 38 for 291, a pick and a touchdown. Well, we couldn't ask for anything more, could we? We could not. I'm still trying to figure out why, why you take the ball. In a situation like this, are you with me, Kevin? You got something in your mind that no, says, you know, I'm always with you. I'm always with you. Purdy will empty the backfield and five wide in the gun at his own 25. The first play of overtime. First and 10. Chiefs with a four man rush, shotgun snap. Purdy looks, throws up the middle, a diving. It may have been picked off on a ricochet. It may have been picked off by Bolton. Now they're ruling complete in the middle of the field on a short pass. And the diving Kansas City linebacker thought he had snared it. It's incomplete. It's second down and 10. <laughs> wow, wow. Another tight, low throw. Comes off the hands of Debo. Sitting up there in the air. Ah, and Bolton could not squeeze it. It was interceptable, wasn't it, huh? It was. Would have been tough. But, man, it was close. 
Now with Samuel in the backfield in the shotgun from the 25 of San Francisco. Second down and 10. Four man rushers. The snap to Purdy and it's blown dead. A whistle and flags. False start. Office number 11. Five yard penalty. Still second down. Brandon Ayuk, who's the wide receiver. Second and 15 now. With the penalty in tow, back to the Niner 20. 15 minute overtime. We play to a winner. Well, and this has kind of been a theme all day, right? We play to it's a winner. Yep. Mistakes. Mistakes putting you behind the sticks. Man, if you're Brock Purdy right now, be smart. You don't have to push it down the field. Just get half of this back. Back at the 20-yard line, San Francisco second, 15. Shotgun snap. It's a shovel pass. It goes to McCaffrey, who slides by one defender, goes between the hash marks and got out to about the 22 of the Niners and picks up two. That's third and third 13 now in a tie game in overtime in the Super Bowl. 22-yard line of the Niners. Third and 13 to come up. They need their own 35. Wow. And now you know that you, you almost have to push the ball down yep. the field, knowing you're giving it back to Patrick Mahomes. Probably decent field position, but you just got to be smart with the football. Can't create a turnover. Your defense has been good all day. If nothing else, hey, eat this one and let your defense win a series for you third and 13 22 yard line two of ten on third downs today in the shotgun is purdy shotgun snap five man rush cocks his arm left tackle block crumbling pocket lost the ball it's loose he tried to bring the ball back in and it uh, they're going to rule it incomplete i'm assuming yep they'd have as it was bouncing around flag thrown as well on the far side a lot going on here. Going to be an automatic first down. Defensive hold on this one. It is on the Chiefs. The flag is on the Chiefs. We're only going to feel the incomplete pass. Prior to the pass, holding. Defense number 22. Five-yard penalty. Automatic first down. And keeps the drive alive on that third and long. Wow. Wow, oh, wow is right. Definitely have to keep our eyes on this because we remember a year ago, Kansas City was on the beneficial end of a holding call against Brad the Barry, Eagles yep. that led to their win. Let's just see how this thing plays out, but that could loom huge. We're in overtime tied at 19, less than a minute gone. First down and 10, San Francisco Purdy's under center with an eye at his own 27. That's a four-man front. The snap, the pitch out, McCaffrey. He's checked a block. Williams a block over the left tackle, the 25, angling to the far sideline. And down he goes near the 30th San Francisco. He picks up three, bringing up second down in seven for the Niners on the first possession of overtime. Right. I mean, that, that was huge, obviously, from so many different reasons, moving the chains. But, man, not having a three and out and giving it right back to Patrick Mahomes, who's had two really, really good drives. Man, that was a big call right there, but the right call. McCaffrey is the lone back. His white jersey stained with grass stains at the 30-yard line. With Purdy having every receiver in tied, his own 32nd and 7. The snap, the spin. McCaffrey, the handoff over the right guard. And he tries to trudge his way over there to the 34 of the Niners. Brought down after a gain of 5. And Kurt Warner, a 3rd and 2. Uh, Kittle running off the field. Kittle running to the... San Francisco tunnel into the locker room and looked like he was favoring his shoulder. So he's out. Let's keep an eye on Jennings again. He has been huge all day long when they needed a play. He's come up with the play. Do they go to him once again here? Charlie Werner is the new tight end for the injured Kittle. Third and two. Purdy in the gun. Four on the line. 35 of San Francisco. It's a shotgun snap, a block by McCaffrey, a line drive throw. It's a leaping catch at the 43. Ayuk got it and spins his way to the 46-yard line of San Francisco. Big time throw by Purdy. 11-yard pickup, a chest-high catch by Ayuk. First and 10 Niners in overtime at the 46. Kansas City actually played it pretty well. Another bunch formation. Playing man-to-man, -man, it's so tough to try to decipher who you're taking when all these guys go different directions. They were in good position, but Ayuk able to just beat the defender to the inside. 
given the throwing lane for Purdy. 946, first and 10 for the San Francisco quarterback. He's under center with an eye formation. Let's to the four-man front. The snap, the handoff. McCaffrey over the left tackle. He busts his way over that left tackle to the 50. Brought down there by Bolton. He's a terrific young linebacker. It's a gain of four and a second down and six for the Niners. Our first overtime clock is at 11.40 and ticking. We're tied at 19 after San Francisco led initially 10 to nothing and the Chiefs came back. I just love the fact that they're winning on first down. This has been the key for both of these teams tonight. That's a good point. You win on first down, you put yourself in those manageable situations, been able to move the football San Francisco has. You put yourself in long yarded situations, and they have struggled. Right on the NFL logo shield at midfield at the 50 yard line. Second down and six. Purdy in the gun. Here comes a six man rush. Purdy is swamped. Dumps it off. Caught by McCaffrey. Far side 50. Goes to 45 down the sideline. 40. Chase to the 30 down the far sideline. Knocked out of bounds. Sneed. Oh, he was a burst. A rocket down the far sideline. Took it and flew down to the 26 of the Chiefs. It's a catch and run at 24. First down, San Francisco. Brock Purdy has been great against the Blitz all year long. They brought the pressure right there. Free hitter coming on Brock Purdy, but he knows where his outlet is and who to throw it to. Buys a little time, flips it out to 23, and lets McCaffrey do the rest. George Kittle is back on the sideline. Not in yet. McCaffrey eight catches for 80 yards. It's first and 10. San Francisco at the 26 of Kansas City under center is Purdy. Gets the snap and pitches out. McCaffrey gets a block from his wide receiver. Takes it past the 20 over the left tackle and down to the Kansas City 18. Getting blocks and a block right there by the tight end Warner taking the place of the injured Kittle. Open the door just inside the 19-yard line of Kansas City on a gain of eight and second to coming up. Overtime clock about five minutes old. <laughs> what a drive. What a huge third down holding penalty that we saw early part of this drive. Keep that in the back of your mind. Does that end up being the difference? Elijah Mitchell is the new running back. 18-yard line of the Chiefs. San Francisco second down and two in overtime. Purdy under center, snap, handoff. Mitchell over the right tackle, the 20. Stiff arms his way to the near sideline, the 15. Taken down by Reed, the safety. But he's got the first down and a flag thrown. It's against San Francisco. Knocks out a gain of five and what was a first down run, Kurt Warner? Yeah, trying to get outside that edge defender. Not able to quite reach him. You got to reach up and grab the jersey right there as the running back is running away. Easy call there for the officials. But, man, that's a big, big call moving him back in this situation. It was on the third string tight end, Braden Willis. A rookie out of Oklahoma who was only in because Kittle was on the sideline and not in because of an injury. The ball with the penalty pushed back to the Kansas City 28. Not what you want to have happen. In nope. a few snaps you get to play in the Super Bowl. Debo Samuel, the running back, now he goes wide. Second down, 12, San Francisco at the Kansas City 28, tied 19 in overtime. This is the first possession. Shotgun snap to Purdy, four-man rush, stands in a messy pocket, now finds the escape hatch. He runs to the near sideline, throws sidearm, caught on a dive on the near sideline by Juszczyk. What a catch and what a throw. He did find the escape hatch. Down to the 19-yard line. Let's see where they mark that ball down to the 15. They're still marking 15-yard line of the Chiefs. Pick up a 13 and it's first and 10. That was on second down and 12. Wow. Ooh. Does not get enough credit for what he does with his legs. Buying time, buying time. Escaping, staying alive. And the guy's on the back end working well to find an opening. McCaffrey back in. 15 of the Chiefs. San Francisco first and 10 in overtime. Under center, Purdy. The snap, the spin. McCaffrey over the right tackle. Bursting free 15 on the numbers, the 10. And wiggles his way, submarining to the 8 of the Chiefs. With a gain of seven on the play, tied at 19, the overtime clock at 8.35. This is the first possession of OD. And on this drive, Ayu caught one for 11, 24-yard catch and run by Christian McCaffrey and a 13-yard pass to the fullback, use check moments ago. Lining up at the Kansas City 9, San Francisco second down four. 
Purdy under center, four-man front for the Chiefs. McCaffrey in the backfield, the snap, the turn, the handoff. McCaffrey over the right tackle and stoned. Nothing right there. What a big play by Tershawn Wharton on that Kansas City defensive line. Maybe a yard. Let's see where they mark it. Close to the eight. It's third and three. Remember, the Chiefs defense only given up one fourth quarter overtime touchdown in postseason. Happened earlier in this game. Can they come up huge again here on third down? And if they score, it does not end the game. The Boyer, they make in a statement with the first possession in overtime with an 11 play, 66 yard drive. Now, empty backfield. It's third and four. Niners at the Kansas City 8 shotgun formation. The snap to Purdy. The rush up the middle. The throw to the end zone. Nobody home at the pylon for Jennings at the goal line on the near sideline. It's incomplete. It's fourth and four. It's fourth and four for San Francisco, and I see the field goal unit coming out there. Offense was out there for a second. I'm thinking there's no chance they're going right. for it, but they could have lined up and said, hey, maybe we can get them to jump off sides. Probably not likely, but what the heck? So Moody, the rookie out of Michigan, who's had field goals tonight of 55 and 53, Jake Moody will try a 27-yarder to take a lead in overtime. Good snap. Ball put down. Right-footed kick is away and good. And the San Francisco 49ers have driven downfield and kicked a field goal of 27 yards to take an overtime lead of 22-19 and 7-22 to go in OT. And, of course, that score does not end it. The Chiefs will get a possession. Well, and still, I, I'm interested by winning the toss and taking the football because now with this field goal, the Chiefs know exactly what they have to do, right? If you give them the ball first and you stop them, now you get the chance to win this game. Right now, Chiefs are in four down mode. Doesn't matter. They're going to work their way down because they know they've got to get a score. This is going to be one of the most exciting possessions we have seen all season long, isn't it? <laughs> wow. It, you know, what, what was a, a bit of a dull game from an offensive standpoint, for the most part, has really exploded here in this fourth quarter in overtime. With Kurt Warner, the Hall of Fame quarterback, and Dean Blandino, Kevin Harlan, we're in the Granger broadcast booth here in Las Vegas. At work every day is game day. Give your crew an edge with Granger. You'll find supplies and solutions for your industry when you call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. It's 22 to 19 here in Super Bowl 58. The Niners have taken the first overtime possession and nailed a 27-yard field goal with their rookie kicker. Now it's Mahomes. Now it's the Chiefs. They've come from behind time after time this afternoon. With three timeouts, Mahomes readies on the sideline. And the kickoff coming from San Francisco from left to right. Boy, there was a Kansas City hold on a third down play early in that drive, which sustained it and gave the Niners new life. The kickoff by the Niners. It goes out of the end zone, about three yards outside the back of the end zone, meaning a touchback. It goes to the 25, and now we've got Patrick Mahomes against one of the best defenses in the NFL. It sets it up. The Niners by three. The Chiefs with the possession. They have got to score. They have got to, and as I said, four down mode. Doesn't matter at this point. You got to keep moving the chains. In the shotgun, Mahomes pointing out his protections, his own 25, first and 10. Four-man rush, low snap, handoff, Pacheco up the middle. He goes between the hash marks by the Kansas City 25 and up to the Kansas City 27. Gain of a couple. That brings up second down and eight for the Chiefs, who trail by three in OT. When it is opens up your playbook right you don't have to panic here they know that Andy Reid knows that it's just about chunking and winding and getting first downs and moving we've had 19 years since our last repeat champion in the NFL's biggest game the Super Bowl Chiefs trying to do it second down and eight shotgun snap from their own 28 four-man rush there's a short pass at the 30 it's caught by Rice he tries to maneuver he's brought down by Lenore on the near side outside the numbers at the Kansas City 34. It's a gain of six. Kurt Warner, third and two, and the Chiefs are not huddling. They're assembling at the line. 
Mahomes in the gun, third and one. Shotgun snap, handoff to Checo. Court screws over the right side. Nothing there. Down he goes, and he is shy of the first down by a half yard. And there's a niner down, and the Chiefs are short, and it's fourth down in less than a yard. Now that niner gets up. That was Warner. He's wobbly. He's on rubber legs. But he's back out there in the middle. Well, here we go. Fourth and one for the game. Kansas City taking a timeout. Make sure you have the right play call right here. But man, it all comes down to this. Overtime clock at 6.05. The Niners had the first possession. They took it downfield on a good-looking 13-play drive. They could not get seven. The Chiefs defense did their job keeping them out. But they did get a 27-yard field goal to take a lead here in Super Bowl 58, 22-19. Now it is fourth and one. Boy, how this play is gigantic. Oh, what do you what do you do here? Oh, I don't. Well, you right? tell me. You You're... haven't had great success running the football. Oh, that seems like the smart move. But man, I want to put the ball in 15's hands for the game on fourth down if I'm Andy Reid. The Chiefs have got to get a first down or it's over. So Mahomes in the gun, half yard to go, fourth and one, inside his own 35. Kelsey in motion, shotgun snap, the fake handoff. Mahomes will run, a block by Kelsey. He's got the first down over the right tackle, the 40. He's out to the Kansas City 41-yard line. An eight-yard run by Mahomes, that is a first down. Love the play call, there was three options. Hand the football off if the defensive end comes down. You keep it if you're Patrick Mahomes, and then you sneak Travis Kelsey out in the flat. So you can hand it, you can keep it, you can throw it. Great call. Like I said, keep it in 15's hands and make that decision. First down and 10 from the 42 of the Chiefs. Moving from our right to our left. Red jerseys and white pants and the gun. Low snap. First and 10 blocked by the right tackle. Right and right throw. It's outside to... Valdez Scantling, and he is brought down on that far sideline after the belt high grab. He had shed one tackler, but he got as far as the 38, and he lost four. He was behind the line and trying to dig and lost four on the play, bringing up second and 14 for the Chiefs. It's back at their own 39-yard line. He catches it five yards down the field and then comes back a step, gets spun back, and instead of just going down, tries to create again and it leads to a four yard loss it's second down 14 Mahomes back at his own 39 shotgun snap quick throw caught underneath Valdez Scantling got it belt high on the hash at the 45 of the Chiefs back pedals his way to the Kansas City 46 picking up seven setting up third down and six Overtime clock at 4.30. Niners lead at 22-19 on the first possession of overtime. They get a 27-yard field goal. Really surprised that Steve Wilkes keeps pressuring Patrick Mahomes. He's picking him apart with the quick throws against pressure. Just happened there to be able to get that yardage back. Jarek McKinnon, the running back. Third down, six. Ball just outside the Kansas City 45. Low shotgun snap. Six-man rush. Line drive throw. Caught by Rice. 50 far side 45. On a crossing pattern, he runs to the far sideline and out of bounds. Rice. And it's not the one we're thinking of, but the Rice for the Chiefs against the San Francisco 49ers to the 41 of San Francisco. A 15-yard catch and run by the rookie out of SMU on third and six. First and ten Chiefs. 41 of the Niners. Well, they brought the pressure again. Once again, by time, wait for Rasheed Rice to come across the field, flip the shallow route out, get the corner, put yourself in field goal range. Overtime clock at 3.37 and ticking. Chiefs trail by three, 41 to San Francisco. Two tight ends, Mahomes under center, got the snap, drops back, four-man rush, winds up, wants to throw long, goes underneath, caught by Pacheco, 40 far sideline, stiff arms his way with a dive on the far sideline in front of the Niners bench to the 38th. And on that play, picks up four on that first and ten short throw, second down six. Niners lead it 22-19 in overtime, scoring on the first possession. Chiefs get it by rule, a possession themselves. They're inside the 38 of San Francisco. He said it, trying to get the big play, just haven't been able to break anybody free down the field. One big play in the first half, but nice check down there by Patrick Mahomes. Second down six, inside the 38 of San Francisco. Shotgun formation. 
And a timeout, San Francisco's D. Niners defense will take a timeout. First, first timeout. Two apiece now, remaining in 248, remaining in overtime. With the Niners on top of the Chiefs, 22-19. Lead changes, ties. It has been some kind of wild affair since halftime. Initially, the Niners led 10 to nothing. Man, what a football game. And again, I'm not sure why San Francisco took the ball with the new rules, knowing both teams have to have the football. And I just think, not that it would have played out exactly the same, but the Chiefs go for it on third and short. They don't get it, have to go for it on fourth. If they have the ball first and get in that situation, they probably punt. You come down and kick a field goal, you win the football game. A lot of things could be at play, taking momentum. Maybe you think the Chiefs defense is tired, but I kind of think of it as maybe college rules. You want the other team to have the ball first to see what you have to do with your possession. Timeout was just taken. Now the Chiefs lining up inside the 38 of San Francisco. Second down six, down by three in overtime. 2.48 to go. Shotgun snap. Four-man rush. Dumping it off screen pass. Caught Pacheco 40. Got a block at the 35. Angles to the far side and taken down by Warner. At the 31-yard line of San Francisco. Angling to the San Francisco sideline. It's a gain of five and about a third and short. Third and less than a yard. It's inside the 32. Yep, they've got about a football's length to go, Kurt. Oh, man, I thought he had gotten the first down Looked right like there. But here yeah. they are again in the third down situation. So now it's a little bit stickier because you don't necessarily have to go for it on fourth down. So, so key to call the right play here on third and short. Third down, less than a yard. In the gun is the quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. A knee-high shotgun snap. Runs up the middle on the quarterback draw the 30. Broke a tackle, 25-20. Down the middle he goes inside the hash mark at the 15. Finally tackled at the 13. A burst, a run, and a big-time play by Patrick Mahomes running for 19 to the 13 of San Francisco. Clock how, is ticking at 144. How many times can we see that? Critical moments, big game Super Bowls, the legs of Patrick Mahomes oftentimes have been the difference. It's first and 10 at the San Francisco, 13 for the Chiefs, trailing by three in overtime. Mahomes in the gun, four-man rush. There's the snap. It's a handoff for Checo, and he burrows his way to the 10. On a gain of three, second down seven. Overtime clock at 113. Chiefs at the 10 of the Niners. Oh, man. But right now, what? It's about scoring. None of this matters if you kick a field goal and you've got to keep going. You've got to find a way to dial up that perfect throw and get into the end zone. Mahomes in the gun, second seven from the 10-yard line of San Francisco. Three wide, looks into the nickel. Shotgun snap, drops back three. Sidearm throw, part of the 10. Kelsey got a block on the hash mark, trudging to the five, broke a tackle, carries him on his back, close to a first down. Got to the three. He needed to get inside the four. That should be enough for a first down. Clock is ticking, 32, 31, 30 seconds in overtime. Typical Kansas City fashion. They like to change it up down here. Release the back into the flat. Pump fake out there and then bring Travis Kelsey on the quick screen underneath. And great job pushing for the first down. First and goal at the three. Lining up in the clock at 10 seconds and ticking. In the shotgun, Mahomes. Four-man front. Receiver in motion. Low snap. He runs and he throws. Caught. Touchdown. It's caught. Hardman caught the ball. The Chiefs have won. The Chiefs have won! The entire bench empties! Chasing Mahomes in the end zone! Their third Super Bowl in five years! The Chiefs are back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions! It is a dynasty! The Chiefs have won Super Bowl 58. 25-22 in overtime. They're the first team to repeat in almost 20 years. Back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions!
and quarterback Patrick Mahomes as the confetti flies wins his third Super Bowl joining an elite club of quarterbacks to win at least three with Brady, Montana, Bradshaw, and Aikman. The Chiefs have won Super Bowl 58 in overtime. <laughs> what an incredible ending. And they came back with the same play that they ran on fourth down to convert and keep the drive going. Put it in 15's hands, the ability to read the defensive end, hand it off, pull it. He pulled it this time. Instead of using his feet, they snuck a guy out to the flat. Boom. Pop it to him. Touchdown. And as you said, third championship for Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, and company together. 25-22 in overtime. Welcome to the Super Bowl 58 postgame show on Westwood One. It is sponsored by Bosch Knight Performance Wiper Blades. Bosch Knight Performance Wiper Blades reduce blur and glare to help you see on stormy nights. Find them at auto retailers near you. Night vision has evolved. The hugs, the confetti, and on the San Francisco side, stunned silence. Shocked and in disbelief. The field is a color of red and gold as Mahomes throws a game-winning, Super Bowl-winning, short three-yard touchdown pass to a wide-open, backpedaling McCall Hardman. And the Chiefs win it 25-22 to 22 over San Francisco. They are defending champions, and they've won back-to-back -back with wins last year over Philadelphia in a close one, and this year over the 49ers. And how perfect, Kevin, is how this thing played out, comparing it to what they did all year. It was defense, it was defense, it was defense, and then when we needed that play late, when we needed that drive to be able to keep something going or to finish a game like we saw in the AFC Championship game, or to answer that field goal with a touchdown, they put the ball in the hands of the greatest quarterback of this modern era, Patrick Mahomes. The field is just full of family and confetti and players and security people. It is chaotic. What a drive, 13 plays and 75 yards and 719 off the clock in overtime and literally they took it to the final seconds of overtime, down by three. And so much of this game was about the Chiefs answering. San Francisco was doing their part and going down and putting points on the board. And this late part of the game, it was drive after drive after drive championship teams find a way to answer find a way to keep themselves in the game and then find a way to separate in the most critical moments and it's why this team is super bowl champions once again it is a madhouse here in vegas inside the stadium live to the field and mike golick all right chris here you go you guys did it again overtime this time around just the feeling right now it's everything it's everything I mean, you've done this before. How different is it this time? It's hard. It's hard, man. It's so hard. It's so hard to accomplish these type of achievements, man. Again, with Chris Jones here, uh, defensive tackle for Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl champs yet again. What was the discussion at halftime? We got to be better. We got to be better. And um, we was able to come out a little better than we did the first half. When you stopped them to, for a field goal in overtime, did you know that your offense could go down and win it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Congrats, man. Thank go enjoy know. this thing, man. All right, let's go back up to Kevin. All right, Mike. We're going to have tons of interviews live from the field as our reporters are down there scurrying to get some comment. And honest to goodness, about as exciting a Super Bowl as anybody I'm sure can. Maybe the most exciting ever. I don't know. But this, this was unbelievable. 
Well, I mean, when you think about the three wins that they have, they kind of all come down to situations like this. The first one against San Francisco where they had to come back late, score 21 points late to win that one. The game last year when Philadelphia had it in hand and they make the drive to finish it. And here we go again, down three in overtime. You put the drive together to finish in the Super Bowl. Tom Brady is the best quarterback that we've seen in the Super Bowl, no doubt. Why? Because in the moment, he makes the plays that you have to make. If somebody's going to catch him, it's probably going to be this guy, number 15, and it's because he's done exactly the same thing. And maybe they'll look at these overtime numbers from a home. Down by three, he goes eight of eight through the air. He throws for 42 yards and eventually the short game-winning touchdown. He rushed it twice for 27, and they were big runs. He hit five different receivers on that drive. Back downstairs, the Chiefs have won it in overtime. 25-22, Laura Oakman. people down here which is wonderful for all of the families but players are really saying not now I want to be in this moment I want to be in this moment so Look thank you all right here's Isaiah Pacheco all right Isaiah if you could if this Super Bowl trophy could talk right now what would it say we united united that's what he's gonna say on there united on the trophy gonna say united Last year was the Edge. This year was United. It took every single one of us. 53 men, coaches, the guys that wouldn't even playing on the sideline. It took every single human being on that sideline to get this victory tonight. How is that a microcosm of this season? It is like this one game. How did it wrap up everything you guys went through this year? It's adversity. Visualize, see it, make it happen. We've seen it. We've been there before. It's time to punch in that clock, eliminate the distractions, and focus on us. Isaiah, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mike Golick, over to you. All right, McCall Hartman, take us through the game-winning touchdown. Man, in and out play, fake jet, come back, uh, go to the flat, and um, the corner fell off, and and, and, and Trav was right there. Uh, you know, he was doubled, I believe, and I was open in the corner. So, I mean, couldn't be more grateful. So when you hear that play and you see it forming on the field, you start the route, when do you know that ball's coming to you? Uh, when I see the corner fall off, I know it's coming my way. Uh, it, it wasn't necessarily man right there, but they tried to double trial. But when I seen the corner fall off, I knew it was game. They scored a field goal first drive in overtime. You guys get the ball, need at least a field goal to tie, get the touchdown. What was the thought and the talk going into that drive? We know what we need to do. We need to score. And that's what we did. We had to go score. Congrats, man. Enjoy the win. All right, Kevin, back to you. All right, Mike, thank you. We had two ties, three lead changes, two record-long field goals, and a game-winning touchdown pass by one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history to win Super Bowl 58. So many moving parts, 25-22. The Chiefs have won back-to-back -back Super Bowls, the first team to do it since the Patriots in the early 2000s. Much more still to come in the postgame show. The Chiefs have won Super Bowl 58.